7 a.m. sharp. To begin, I would like to introduce our colleagues who will be moderating this session. Patrick Dreed represents the Novi Sad University and Vice President of the European Federation of Sambo, Victoria Kharkova, our colleague from Belarus, head of the Department of uh, the Combat Sports of the Belarusian University, Victor Sheyan represents the Center for the Preparation of National Teams and the representatives of the Lesgoft University. Anton Pavlenka. In the beginning, let's figure out some housekeeping notes and timing. So Ivanov, this will be an online presentation. We still do not know whether it will take place or not. Uh, so it's a question mark. Now Gaiduk, again a question mark. We do not know yet. Fedorov, present here, great. Bakulev also here. Tkachuk, not clear yet. Pavlenka here, Arlov also here, Rashkova here, I'm Betova here, Mikhailova also here, Gorskaya, absent, Baranikov here. Pushkina was here. Oh, you are here. Great. Rostovtseva here. Beladet also here. And sorry, the writing here is not very clear. Uh, so I may mispronounce uh, your names. Dita here. And Sheglov also here. So practically everybody is present. Dear colleagues, now timing. Around 20 presentations were uh, declared. Now we have around 15, so we suggest 10 minutes uh, per presentation, plus minus a bit. And the main thing are questions and answers, uh, discussions, because here are the specialists who can express their opinion or maybe uh, discuss certain things. Unfortunately, the question is out of the mic. The interpreter cannot translate anything out of the mic. These will be plenary uh, presentations. Do you accept uh, the timing proposals? Yes. Again, uh, the person from the floor is not using the mic. Dear colleagues, several people from Moscow and other cities some people have to leave or take part in the master classes, so we'll be uh, uh, moving uh, some presentations. Maybe uh, if you are not against, we'll start. So the first presenter is Viktor Sheyan from Moscow, representing the Center for National Teams Preparation. A few words of introduction. On the whole, the scientific methodological system as a whole program or approach to the organization of systemic preparation of elite athletes was started in the Soviet Union at the end of the 1960s and was most broadly realized and uh, disseminated at the verge of 1970s and 80s and became an important system of follow-up the preparation of the athletes that secured a stable level of sports results. And the peak, probably, of this system development 
was the period uh, bef uh, during the preparation for the Moscow Olympics when full-fledged scientific groups were created, equipped and aimed to work uh, for the result, not the formal requirements uh, execution that could be found in some directives, but mainly aimed uh, for our athletes to win. And one of the brightest examples of the effectiveness of this system was the period of 1976, when the national team of classical wrestling was prepared, uh, headed by uh, Igumenov. The whole period of preparation, all the four years, around 12 to 15 people who were part of the scientific comprehensive group uh, were working with the uh, national team athletes. And the result of this preparation was really fantastic. Out of 10 weight uh, categories, all uh, the athletes received uh, gold medals at the 1976 Olympics. And the reason for this was uh, that the preparation was headed by a wonderful athlete, uh, uh, who has won world championship in wrestling and who started uh, studying the scientific uh, foundations of preparation. And this is certainly Viktor Igumenov. His attitude to all the questions connected with how to train and prepare athletes was uh, very systematic and uh, Though he was certainly an authority, but no question connected with the preparation of the athletes was not authoritarian. He always was open for discussion, creative discussion of the topical issues uh, together with the trainers and the members of the scientific group. And thus, at the end of the day, they gave birth to a system of a centralized preparation of athletes oriented to the athletes achieving the peak of their form by the period of their competition. Further on, in the beginning of 1990s, when uh, certain changes happened in the country. The Scientific Research Institute was eliminated and the comprehensive scientific groups as well. As the result, uh, we had uh, a decrease in sports results. At the end, the administrators understood that uh, such uh, uh, a truncated system would not uh, bring up results. And they started preparing new scientific groups uh, at the end of the 1990s. And the first people who started to uh, resuscitate these groups uh, uh, were us together with uh, Igumenov. We have created the organization of combat uh, sports, have purchased certain equipment and started researching comprehensive groups uh, in preparation for Sydney uh, 2000 Olympics. 20 years have passed since the time when we started this resuscitation process of the scientific groups. Throughout this time, many drawbacks, systemic drawbacks have uh, uh, been identified that do not allow to resolve the tasks that we managed to resolve previously. And based on these drawbacks that do not allow to work effectively, 
for the scientific researchers, uh, comprehensive scientific groups in securing a systemic monitoring of the effectiveness of uh, the training process. Uh, these uh, drawbacks will be the topic of uh, my presentation. The whole system of our preparation when we try to prepare and lead an athlete to the peak sports form are based on the following tasks. Secure a certain level of uh, sports toning that would allow an athlete to show the best tactical and uh, sports uh, possibilities and capabilities. And for the beginning, a very brief video that shows how movement skills of an athlete are manifested. This is not an ordinary athlete. This is number one of an Olympic national team in karate. And look, elementary task, 20 seconds, executing a simple technical motion. And how at second 15, the skills are lost. Moving skill was actually destroyed on the background of uh, a moderate physical load. Using the example of sports uh, combat, we try to analyze why this happens, how the physical tiredness impacts the realization of a physical skill. You see a diagram here that characterizes qualitative uh, relationship between the level of physical tiredness uh, on the background, a physical combat movement had been performed. And we see that under the influence of this physical tiredness, you see the pH of the blood, 7.4 at rest. And on the background of a not significant tiredness that started, an athlete begins to realize a physical skill most quickly and stably. PH 7.22, 7.2. Their lactate uh, uh, at this stage is around 11 to 13 millimol per liter. And the moving skill is quite stable at this point. In sports pedagogy, this phase of improving, improving of their movement is uh, marked and then with the increase of physical tiredness the moving skill is starting to be destroyed and if we look at the pH value that characterizes the response of an athlete to the load of the competition the value of 7.2 plus minus are usually seen in the winners. And this value characterizes the physical tiredness after a similar load in those who lose. And the delta between these values leads to a real increase of the time for the execution and this amounts to approximately 20 percent if we divide these gains by other phases uh, latent period uh, and sum them we will see that around 100 percent on the background of physical tiredness of time uh, for execution of the moving skill. And this certainly impacts the way how an athlete realizes uh, uh, his or her tactical capabilities. 
what is important here. We started studying not one athlete per se, but the characteristics of relationship between two opponents who meet each other at the feet. After the end of uh, uh, combat, the concentration of lactate as a specific response to standardized load, similar load for both uh, opponents, and how it impacts uh, the change of the reliability parameters of the uh, technique of an athlete. And the reliability was a level of uh, effectively realized uh, moving activities and uh, uh, movements with the insignificant difference at the level of uh, the sports preparedness between the athletes. We do not see a market gain. And then starting from page uh, point 15 we see a sharp growth in the quality of realization of uh, moving skills in the conditions uh, of a fight at pre-olympic uh, tournament that took place in moscow in 1979 prior to the olympics we saw this very clearly the french uh, people came up to us and asked, why are you collecting the blood? Uh, let's try our guys as well. And the final was Saladuhin, uh, 65 kilos, and the French uh, guy, I do not remember his name, but a very good athlete. And we evaluated that Saladuhin's response to the load of a fight was around 10 millimole of lactate to the load, while the French athlete had around 25 millimole of lactate. And I told the French trainer that no chance for your guy uh, compared to Saladuhin to win because he broke physically. He could not uh, uh, oppose. And this was seen very clearly uh, because uh, on minute three, the French guy laid down and uh, our athlete won. This shows that the level of uh, special training is uh, a specific marker that impacts the outcome of a uh, uh, fight. In natural conditions, we have conducted an experiment that confirmed this idea. This is our Olympics national team, a karate team, uh, together with Professor Arlov, who at that time was the head of our scientific group uh, for the national team. So our natural experiment was as follows. In the conditions of the pandemic, three uh, athletes of the national team uh, were not training for uh, quite a long time. They spent this time at home. And... Uh, we have conducted an experiment uh, to see how the response uh, during uh, response to the load during uh, uh, three compassionate uh, fights, three consecutive fights uh, uh, with short periods of time between them, and on the background of a low level of uh, uh, training their response to this uh, competitive load uh, with lactate concentration of around 22-23 millimoles and they didn't recover by minute 6 and this trend continued to grow. After around 6 months, when the systemic trainings uh, were resumed, we conducted a similar experiment with the same athletes and these were first numbers of the uh, National Olympic team. The same work uh, 
and was conducted the same load and uh, the response to this load was much uh, less and they were recovering by minute six. Uh, so this confirms that a systemic work that is aimed to increase uh, the level of uh, uh, training of the athletes creates a reliable basis for the realization of the technical and tactical capabilities of the athletes. And this uh, is confirmed by the following. We have uh, created a diagram, a relationship between the level of uh, the level of trainings and testing this level among the athletes. In all the combat sports, we have developed uh, special programs of standardized uh, tests that uh, model the conditions of a competition and allow to quantitatively assess the level of uh, training of the athletes and the relationship between this special training level and the response to the load of a competition is expressed by this diagram. And this absolute range, remember the previous diagram when I mentioned the, the uh, impact of tiredness uh, onto this moving skills, 7 to 7.25 pH. This is the range when the potential of an athlete is realized to a full. So if we take these values, we may predict that the level of specific training and capabilities, uh, which characterize the peak of sportive form of an athlete, should lie in the range from 5 to 10 conditional units. And this 10 conditional units was uh, chosen as a basis, as a benchmark for developing the training sessions that would uh, allow to achieve the peak of sports uh, uh, form of the athletes. This value can be calculated and all the training means uh, will be um, aimed to achieve this uh, model value. Now we pass over to the most painful issues. The tasks uh, we are um, assigned now are not aimed to achieve results, unfortunately. In particular, uh, there is an order of the Ministry of Sports of uh, the Russian Federation that states that there are three types of uh, examination, current, uh, uh, staged and uh, pre-competition. I have checked the programs in all the national teams uh, of the country and no staged uh, examinations are even envisaged uh, in any of these national teams. The staged uh, examination is uh, the main benchmark based on which we can calculate the program of uh, uh, the preparation of the athletes and uh, you are not calculating this you are not uh, forecasting what uh, may be the results so gradually we have come back to the level of 1950s 1960s uh, uh, in preparation of our national teams before the comprehensive scientific groups have been formed in the country moreover None of the programs uh, envisages the assessment of special uh, skills of uh, the athletes. And the tests are uh, much truncated and mainly take into account aerobic 
uh, metabolism. Some teams envisage aerobic capabilities, but they are very poor in terms of uh, assessing the endurance of their athletes. In the norms, it is written that this is a test with a staged load, and that's it. And this is not a scientific methodological approach to the preparation, uh, especially if we speak about elite uh, athletes. These are highly qualified uh, uh, Judaists. We have developed a program taking into account different uh, weight categories, and this was done around 40 years ago. But now, from the point of view of the practice and managerial decisions for the national teams, this was done for the judo team. This does not work. Bioenergetic potencies and... Uh, may be calculated as for their specific uh, uh, skills. They cannot be assessed based on this. And I will show you why. No one tried to assess the connection between the aerobic uh, potency and the level of special capabilities of the athletes. While this may be assessed, when we assessed this the interaction between these two parameters, it was shown that the range of aerobic potency change from 30 to 70 ml in the result of standardized uh, test with stage increase of load is not correlated by the uh, with the level of uh, specific endurance. It may be low in Athletes with very high aerobics and very low aerobics, but no specifics that character would characterize uh, the preparedness of a specific athlete in a specific uh, sport. Uh, no correlation. And the higher the level of specific training, their values are narrowed. And we see an optimum area, which has to be our aim. For example, for Judaists, at the stage of uh, the peak of the sports form, the optimum of aerobic potency is very narrow, around 40 to 50 ml. And here we have to remember periodization of the sports training. The general physical uh, form has to be at the level of 70. At the end of the basic preparation, not at the peak of the sports form, when we approach the peak of the sports form of an athlete at the expense of uh, uh, high loads of aerobic, uh, high level of aerobic loads, we see that aerobic potency goes down, but the level of specific training goes up. And and now we come to the program of staged uh, examination. And as I said, the only test with a staged increase of load within the framework of staged examination, which is not conducted, is not working in the high achievement sports. We have to evaluate all the energy potencies uh, comprehensively, and then the system will be functionable. There are some biochemical criteria that characterize uh, metabolic capabilities of the athletes. They qualitatively assess uh, their uh, energy potential and separate metabolic functions. As a minimum, four testing programs have to be included into the staged program that would comprehensively assess uh, uh, the capabilities 
both aerobic and anaerobic of an athlete, and only then will be able to speak about the scientific follow-up of the athletes, and then will be able to understand which uh, bioenergetic factors that limit the level of specific uh, travel uh, training. Sorry. When we tried to analyze this and the way the athletes were training, we have shown very clearly the incompatibility. We analyzed the stage of, of preparation for the Olympics. It was back in 1980s or 1980s Olympics preparation when the preparation was at a very high level. And it turned out that a metabolic profile of a highly qualified Judaist was around 70-80% depending on anaerobic uh, capabilities. While no loads like this were used during the preparation of an athlete. How this problem is to be resolved, uh, it was not uh, very clear. Another important thing connected with the preparation of the athletes in uh, uh, the combat sports. It is well known that the martial artists are very clearly differentiated uh, by the models of uh, competition. There are tempo uh, or uh, strength, uh, uh, technical, tactical models, and we have to prepare them differently because uh, uh, they have different factors uh, that we have to pay attention to. We can differentiate the athletes by weight, and we conducted one of the experiments that allowed us to take certain decisions that, uh, based on the analysis of the preparation to the European Championship. When we um, analyzed aerobic and anaerobic capabilities of the athletes, uh, we could not see significant changes in the dynamics of these functions, but further sortment of this data based on the weight uh, uh, class showed that with the same load, because we train all the athletes based on the same plan, and all the weights are trained in accordance with the same program, which is not right because metabolic effects are different in different weights. This has to be taken into account. And as far as I know, in some uh, wrestling sports, in some combat sports, we now have different trainers for lightweight, uh, heavyweight, because the same training load in lightweight. Impacted there. Uh, led to the fact that aerobic capabilities were on the grow. Moderate weight uh, showed low effectiveness of the same training process. While for the heavy weights. Uh, the athletes, heavy athletes, had uh, anaerobic capabilities uh, increasing in the course of the same training. And the greatest progress in sports achievements was shown among the heavier athlete, uh, weight athletes. The type of adaptation that has to be planned impacted uh, the sports achievements. Sorry, I was infatuated and uh, uh, I have exceeded my time. When we assessed the physical criteria, it uh, was seen that
we had a decrease uh, if we took all the athletes, but when we divided uh, them by weight, we had a more clear differentiation. So we have to take into account the uh, adaptation capabilities of the athletes. These are the data over one specific athlete. who became both uh, uh, a Soviet Union, European and uh, world champion. And he had a significant growth of uh, aerobic effectiveness, uh, uh, which meant that he responded to loads uh, more effectively. And this is an example of lactate and aerobic capabilities testing that characterize the ability of uh, uh, a sportsman to carry out an explosive load. Unfortunately, we can't trust all the results. For example, this is an example of incorrect uh, use of lab tests carried out by a karate uh, group. We see a curve, a realization of lactate capabilities here, how the maximal potency has to change throughout a 10-second test. And the data, the so-called uh, researchers, uh, giving we can't trust such people and moreover take any uh, decisions on the basis of such results that's why without taking much of your time or attention i may just uh, sum up that there are many things that have to be revised cardinally and first and foremost the tests themselves the quality of their performance and the main thing, all this has to be transformed in a very clear program of, for making decisions and preparation of the athletes. Sorry for taking a lot of your time. Thank you, uh, Victor. Your questions, please. The questions are, oh, so which athlete, the data from which athlete was shown? Because if you took Blachutin, but you have taken on the best one. You said karate, the the last one. The microphone of the speaker is off. Sorry, this is impossible to interpret. You know this uh, athlete, not from your report. We are speaking not about an athlete here. We're speaking here. It was not you who conducted the test, but I'm the head of KMG that you've mentioned. And uh, that's why you invited me to check the results. But what I meant was that it was hack work. These are people who have to perform their work very well. We do not trust hack work, but for this, you have to understand what is hack work, what not. And uh, not to take such results into account in your interpretations. More questions, please? My name is Tima Fiev, and I'm securing the uh, national Russian team, uh, judo team. First, I want uh, to thank you for a very interesting presentation. I can assess this uh, well because I worked in the same direction. But there are many questions and a certain explanation 
for what is happening now. The valid tests uh, of specific capabilities and endurance in the proposals from um, in basic proposals that are not shown. We do conduct staged examination, but uh, in the form of accumulation the data throughout the stage and uh, then processing them. But this is a huge topic and it's great that you have raised this issue. We seen an example when the athletes who have shown good results in ECHO showed uh, uh, worse results in uh, combat. At the last Congress that was uh, truncated, unfortunately, I suggested to have a separate round table uh, dedicated to the preparation of the national teams in the conditions of the pandemic and with a not very clear position of the ministry because I uh, submitted the report to the ministry that these issues have to be discussed uh, and not taken backstage by the people working at the ministry because these people do not understand the issues. But uh, I received an answer from the ministry uh, everything great, uh, please uh, make presentations at conferences. I know. But it also brought no results because the main proposal at that conference was to increase the salaries of uh, people working at KMD. This was a main topic, and this is an important issue because uh, the people working at KMD on a very low uh, payroll, we can't ask uh, good results for them. But I say that we need a cardinal revision of the approach. The people working at KMD have a very special status, working permanently with a national team, not like now. The program of staged uh, examination is um, uh, actually uh, bidden at an auction and uh, thus they have uh, uh, strange teams uh, of uh, nobody knows what level of uh, so-called specialists and uh, the results of their work are nothing for us. with no clear understanding uh, how these data have may be used or analyzed. This is not a scientific follow-up of national teams at all. Thank you. And once again, apologies on my side. Dear colleagues, I will remind all the speakers about the time limits. Next presentation. Boris Terakanov head of the Department of Combat Sports of the Lesgoft University, who will tell us about uh, the analysis um, of the performance of the students at the University Games 2022, all Russian uh, University Games. 200, uh, uh, 2,500 uh, strongest students from various universities of the Russian Federation took part in these uh, games. And you see the generalized data in this uh, table. Out of 18 types of sports that were included in the, the University Games program, uh, their swimming and uh, Athletics 
were among the best results. Volleyball, handball, tennis and the combat sports also showed very good results. Brief analysis of the results of the University Games shows that uh, the leader in uh, uh, individual and teams uh, competition uh, was shown by the Kuban University and the Krasnodar region team uh have were the leaders in the team uh, uh, competition while the individual competition was won by St Petersburg team and uh, certainly among the, the St Petersburg uh, athletes uh, the Laskov University was uh, uh, in the majority all the main types of uh, wrestling uh, shown the best results. Judo, Sambo, uh, Greek, Roman. You see the results of the competition in this uh, table. The analysis showed that the Judaists from Lesgov University were among the most active ones. Uh, with the majority of the medals won. And uh, the trainer of the judo team is uh, a great master, uh, Levitsky. These are the teachers who, the professors uh, and teachers uh, who work at our department. Then Sambo. who have won seven medals overall, including two gold ones, one uh, uh, silver and four bronze. It was uh, more difficult for... Uh, more difficult conditions were for our teams in freestyle uh, wrestling and uh, Greco-Roman one because the association did not take much part in the preparation. This did not allow the athletes from our university to achieve uh, the best results, though uh, the best ones shown have shown quite good ones. Overall, 20 medals uh, uh, out of 45 were in all types of wrestling were won by the students of our Lesgov University. And Thus, the Lesgov University became number two in their medal standings among the universities and the first one in medal standings uh, out of all the regions. We also have taken into account a number of points in the uh, team ranking uh, divided by different departments. If we consider the contribution of various uh, sports, into the team ranking of the university. Number one is judo. Uh, the, 
The first uh, place uh, in the team ranking was occupied by the judo team, also the first uh, by the swimming team, and then uh, the second uh, was handball in men and handball in women. We analyzed the number of participants and the number of uh, and the number of uh, performances uh, among the uh, participants and it was seen that the ratio between the participants of each team uh, compared uh, with the points won by the team uh, plays a great role. It was uh, rather high for our uh, Lasgaft University, but the highest uh, ratio was uh, for Kuban University. But it shows that we have to take these uh, parameters into account when we plan uh, our work in at the sports universities and their performance at the university games. Number of points in the team ranking of the university is uh, directly correlated with the number of participants. So the more participants, the better. And thus we have to specifically develop uh, those types of sports that will be uh, uh, part of the university games. We can broaden the summer university games program, for example, including gymnastics, football, basketball, fencing, which uh, somehow are not part of the university games. One of the real paths uh, for the development of student sport is uh, the creation of uh, special centers for preparation of such athletes on the basis of sports uh, universities in Russia. Thank you. Your questions, please. How? What do we, uh, do we have to do to win uh, over Lasgov University at the next university games? We have to work more. And uh, we can't open up all our secrets. Uh, we have to develop the combat sports because they bring uh, uh, the majority of medals. Patrick Dreed, Serbia, thanks a lot. I can tell you that last year, Uh, I've been at the University World Cup uh, in it was a very good competition but no Russia no Belarus so Samba was uh, in a very sad situation then this year uh, there will be a very serious work at the University Cup in Sandu thank you more questions what can I add here? Nothing to be added. Political games uh, impact us, definitely. Have always impacted and will continue to impact, but we will combat this. And now Victoria Kharikova from Belarus uh, uh, University of Physical Culture correction of technical and tactical preparedness of the uh, Taekwondo athletes. Uh, welcome to all the delegates and the organizers. And I would like to tell you about the system that was developed at the uh, combat uh, fighting department for the technical and tactical preparation of the athletes. Uh, it, uh, this program 
plays a great role uh, in preparation of the athletes. And the data of literature confirmed that the digital technologies uh, included into the system allow us to broaden different possibilities of the training process and practical use of the new techniques for the increase of mastership of the athletes. Technical, tactical preparation at the highest level is characterized by individual planning and takes into account the adaptation to very specific uh, uh, conditions. The main actions that allow to specifically impact the opponents uh, are as a rule already mastered. So we pay more attention to some specific uh, uh, tricks and skills. We analyze Taekwondo team and uh, special, our conclusion was uh, that the structure of the competition uh, combats uh, uh, is not part of this. We have to master very specific tricks and skills. Thus, the preparation of special preparation exercises have to be planned based on the uh, level of preparedness of uh, competition episodes. Computer technologies allow us to process the uh, episodes of the combat. And thus, the information technical systems uh, creation seems to be a very useful that will allow to raise the effectiveness of the Atlas preparation to competitions. With systemic examination of uh, various skills and episodes of the competition, the structural analysis of the combats allows to identify the structures of the episodes of various tactical aim. In practice, the decisions have to be taken without the sufficient uh, volume of the analytical information. And the analytical systems will allow us to manage all these uh, information flows. With this aim, we developed an analytical information system for the for Taekwondo. Uh, it combines several uh, compatible protocols. We have taken into account the general recommendations, the simplicity of fixing the uh, fights, and the experts. Uh, may immediately enter the registered parameters into the protocols while the formulas used uh, for calculation uh, do everything automatically. We also envisaged the possibility of adapt adapting uh, the technical tactical activities of both athletes at the same time. And such protocols uh, uh, are highly visible in terms of the dynamics uh, throughout the combat. Next stage, all the data are transferred into the individual monitoring system. This is the software, the program, a software program uh, that consists of several pages. First page is a title, second is a database of all the combats uh, uh, chronologically. There may be also references to the videos of these combats. Next page is dedicated to the monitoring of the technical uh, tactical parameters of the combats. The software calculates uh, automatically uh, these parameters uh, based on the data that have been fed. And also the graphical presentation is given. Fourth page shows the data that characterize the technical, uh, tactical structure of the fights. Average parameters and also uh, references to the videos of uh, the fights with various either realized or non-realized episodes, based on which we can more quickly have uh, 
the data uh, which will help us to correct the technical tactical preparation and thus it uh, becomes uh, a planned preparation the use of this program uh, helps us select special methods for training uh, and mastering uh, of uh, technical and uh, tactical skills of uh, taekwondis the members of the taekwondo national belarus team took part in testing of this uh, program and software we in the experimental microcycle we have taken into account uh, the individual peculiarities of the uh, athletes and the structure of their fights. You see an example, average statistical parameters that characterize the episodes. And the data we received showed that the relationship between the episodes so with the characteristics of the athletes uh, remained unchanged, which uh, is uh, in concordance with the uh, literature data. In the course of the experiment, we also saw a positive dynamics in terms of uh, better results of different uh, combat episodes. Thus, after the experimental microcycle, uh, it was shown that the use of this system allows us uh, to identify individual peculiarities uh, follow up uh, the dynamics of the parameters, various parameters, and helps define uh, uh, the best competitive mechanism for the realization of the com of fighting episodes. Thus, this system allows to raise the effectiveness of planning, accounting, and correction of technical tactical uh, parameters of the preparation of taekwondo athletes. Thank you. Your questions, please. Please ask. Then I will. Which uh, uh, software do you use? Excel? Yes, Excel sheets. We can enter all the data dynamically. We also have corrected it for unmilitary, for the military unarmed uh, uh, fighting and karate. The next question is out of the mic. What a characteristic of the technical tactical mastership is uh, domineering out of the whole list you've shown? Qualified taekwondo athletes, in them we were mostly interested by the level of preparedness of uh, competitive episodes when these athletes do not start uh, uh, from zero, but use different masking movements. Uh, the qualified athletes uh, show a more interesting uh, um, technical-tactical movements. So mainly these were the parameters we took into account and also tactical uh, aspect. More question. Professor Fedorov from Lesgov University. High achievement sport is always a competition. Right. Your program, is it open or closed for the opponents? We are working individually with the trainer and the athletes. I've shown you only one example and only one athlete. Certainly better not show such things, sir. You mean not show the results while the methodology itself, yes, the program itself is open, but uh, the results are used by the trainer and the athlete. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you, Victoria. Next presenter will be online. Uh, Ivanov from South Korea, who will tell us about the perspectives of somebody 11 uh, month in modern days. Please, the floor is yours. Good 
uh, afternoon everybody it is a great honor for me to take part in such a representative meeting do you hear me now no My sound is on, but we do not hear you. Evgeny, do you hear us? We do not hear you. So then we will pass over to the next presentation. Uh, Guy Duke, uh, who represents the investigative uh, committee of uh, the Belarus, uh, will tell us about the content of uh, professionally applied physical training. I do hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you. So, good afternoon, dear colleagues. First and foremost, I would like to pass best regards to the organizers and thank them a lot. Victoria uh, made this in person. I do this online from uh, the Belarus Republic and all the people who deal with the theory and methodology of uh, combat uh, sports and I would like to dwell today on some applied issues. My presentation will be dedicated to the professional uh, applied uh, issues of uh, uh, preparation, the people working in the national security institutions. In particular, the uh, mastering of sambo skills first we all know well that the professionally applied uh, physical preparation resolves uh, the tasks uh, the the uh, the task for the person to be successful in uh, uh, implementation of uh, their activities but professional activity but there are certain questions nowadays global changes are taking place all around us our life is changing very quickly and uh, while some aspects of uh, preparation uh, remain the same on the one hand and on the other hand if we analyze uh, the requirements and norms uh, that regulate the professional preparation and the experience of uh, service activities, uh, we some come to certain controversy between this things uh, that uh, demand that we uh, better systematize all these uh, aspects of our work. I'm going to speak about law enforcement uh, bodies mainly.
I used to work in the police uh, uh, previously and now in the investigative committee. So I will speak mainly about law enforcement bodies, but uh, everything I uh, will be telling about pertains to other spheres as well. The analysis of uh, norms and regulations show that around 20% uh, uh, pertain to special physical exercises and here we speak mainly about uh, the sambo skills and uh, wrestling skills in various countries various legislations they uh, are classified differently but this is not the topic of today's discussion based on the results of the analysis we see that for a long time that in the soviet and post-soviet period uh, this preparation is practically unchanged the number of skills the uh, servicemen have to master the technical tactical uh, aspects uh, practically have not changed though our life and uh, all the relevant uh, uh, conditions have changed drastically several reasons for this first if we go back we may see that at a certain stage uh, the skills of unarmed uh, fighting were the only legitimate skills that could be uh, trained in among the service uh, men uh, or law enforcement servicemen Nowadays, there are many aspects of combat sports, many clubs uh, which uh, may attend, uh, uh, any person may attend. The level of uh, training of uh, ordinary people thus uh, has changed. And among these people, uh, very often, uh, among these people, we come across those who may uh, uh, take some illegal actions. But uh, next reason is uh, a significant decrease of uh, enrolling people after service in the army into the law enforcement. In the Soviet Union, the police school, uh, high school of police, uh, uh, enrolled only people after the service in the army. Nowadays, unfortunately, we have to deal with the uh, young people after school. Uh, they lack life experience and physical a level of physical preparation thus the time we might spend to study some of skills and uh, mastering them uh, we have to spend uh, on uh, general physical education and exercises Next global reason is uh, the motivation of our young people. The other side of the digitalization that surrounds us, on the one hand, it has a positive impact, but on the other hand, it has a negative uh, impact on the level of physical preparation of the young people
very often we think that law enforcement uh, stuff uh, some special people who have to be prepared both uh, uh, morally and physically but these are the same young people that surround us in everyday life and study at other universities and institutions all these reasons together play a great role uh, also some methodological issues are not yet resolved the material uh, issues material uh, equipment issues So thus, I have very briefly depicted the current situation and the hurdles that do not allow us to master at the uh, required level the self-defense skills uh, for uh, future law enforcement uh, servicemen. Objectively, we may state that we have to increase the general physical uh, preparation of uh, our staff because young people, unfortunately, are not motivated. Their level is uh, quite low in order to start mastering the skills they have to gain the physical the overall general physical level the number of uh, skills and tricks that are envisaged by the norms and regulations around 50 to 60 different uh, tricks and their combinations we have to specify uh all these requirements based on the aspect of law enforcement activity uh, there's people are working in and uh, their rank and department but this is again back to what i've said that uh, life is changing while the system of preparation remains the same We have to develop the axiographic approach, the tricks and skills uh, uh, needed by the law enforcement staff have been defined a lot, but specifically at what stage of service they need uh, one skills more than the others, uh, in what rank, uh, etc. So all this uh, work has to be done. Um, in order to these requirements to be more specific summing up we may say that professional applied uh, physical preparation occupies one of the leading places because without the necessary physical uh, uh, level the servicemen won't be able to uh, uh, work efficiently in law enforcement first aid skills are also very important For example, uh, if you have to evacuate the uh, wounded people, thus we uh, have challenges, we know them, and we uh, strive to 
correct them and uh, uh, improve our work. That's why such uh, congresses are very important and it is great that we uh, uh, meet each other. We had a conference in Minsk last month uh, dedicated to the memory of uh, uh, Bartish and uh, I've met some of the colleagues then. Uh, I would like such uh, events to go on. The more we interact, the more challenges we may identify and the areas that need correction because such communication, scientific communication, uh, opens new ways and uh, helps to find uh, new solutions. Thanks a lot. I'm ready to take your questions, if any. Thank you, Sergey. Your questions, please. I have one. Sergey, tell me, in according with the norms and regulations, what is the basis, uh, the main basis in combat sports on which you base uh, the preparation of law enforcement in Belarus, law enforcement stuff? Thank you. The same as in the Russian Federation. Some 10, 15 years ago, the investigative committee was uh, uh, singled out from the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Uh, and uh, before we, all our stuff uh, uh, were from police uh, uh, in your country and militia in our country but as I've mentioned we have to develop new means and uh, basis of the professionally applied uh, uh, preparation in the investigative committee. Uh, as I've said, the contents of uh, the physical uh, activities, physical uh, um, exercises are the same in the Ministry of Internal Affairs or police, militia, and, uh, for example, borderline officers. Uh, various techniques of defense and uh, attacking, uh, but they are the same throughout the three uh, ministries, uh, the three uh, departments, sorry. I'm a retired person of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of uh, the Russian Federation, and I also teach uh, at the training center uh, of the uh, Directorate of the Internal Affairs. Uh, now I reside in Belarus. My question is, how do you manage uh, uh, with the uh, part-time trainers? For example, you may invite uh, the retired people who have uh, very uh, large experience working in the uh, law enforcement or uh, internal affairs. Uh, <laughs> thank you for your interesting question. Yes, I actually tried several times. Uh, uh, I was not even asking for a salary. Um, but the question is uh, not an easy one. Our staff has uh, a lot of uh, workload. and they can't uh, allocate uh, time for specific trainings. But unfortunately, we do not have any decree or regulating document that would envisage the off-staff trainers. 
What about the voluntary uh, uh, of staff workers? May I come uh, for a meeting with you in Minsk? I will be in Minsk tomorrow. So if you come to Minsk, you may take all my contact details and you're welcome. Thank you. More questions? What about uh, Sergey Ivanov? Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, now we can. Thank you. But we can't see you. Evgeny uh, Ivanov from UN uh, University, South Korea. The perspectives of some development in our times. Good afternoon, dear guests and delegates of the International Conference. It is a great honor to be part of such a large-scale event uh, among uh, real professionals. I am sure that my presentation will be very interesting. Today, you will hear how a master of sports, uh, some both sports and uh, a young athlete, being a young professor at the university, managed to find a balance between theory and practice. I would like to touch upon history and cultural roots, uh, cultural origins of Samba, and also assess uh, broad perspectives of Samba in modern world. It should be mentioned that Samba is uh, a fight of a new modern type that has uh, large achievements in our days. Certainly when promoting Samba, you have to analyze uh, its perspectives uh, as a culture, role uh, phenomenon samba as a modern type wrestling is based on deep traditions of the past while the use of it uh, in modern times is huge but let's try to look at samba development from the positions of uh, its perspectives in the history of humankind there were many different types of uh, fight and wrestling, but the types we remember are assessed for their important contribution into their human culture, because all these combats are based not only on the striving to survive, but also to help people to master their spiritual aspect. First and foremost, the people have to respond spiritually because the person is strong in spirit and this is very important. And this is taught by a concept of combat arts as a phenomenon of real culture. It is uh, well known that in the process of a complicated historical way, Russia has unified a huge uh, number of various uh, peoples. In the course of this, uh, years the sambo fighting was uh, formed which uh, assimilated the national skills of various uh, uh, combatants of uh, different peoples of the world it sambo is being developed very quickly and throughout a very short time that has gone from uh, uh, a social phenomenon to an olympic uh, sports Sambu organically combines uh, various traditions in itself. There are very um, several advantages of this uh, fighting uh, compared to oriental combat sports where the main achievement is uh, winning over the opponent. Sambu declares uh, mainly defense, not attacking. Also, the skills of Sambu are simpler and uh, more accessible for an ordinary person. Certainly, the cultural depth and uh, 
uh, its achievements uh, uh, are the merit of uh, its founders, Harlamov, Shipto, and uh, Spiridonov. In order, it's not a secret that in our time, digitalization of the society, uh, the uh, self-expression manners, uh, communication work, and the wish to follow new trends. Uh, these are the characteristics of modern times. And Sambo has uh, huge perspectives in this uh, society because the society really needs it because the society is undergoing a very deep social crisis. It is evident that it is necessary and it is possible in the conditions of this large-scale crisis. Think about uh, a global way of impacting people. For example, uh, raising the interest to Sambo. But the crisis nowadays is overwhelming. But in any case, we have to use the advantages of the epoch, technologies, new means of communication in order to connect with the like-minded people. And uh, uh, the ability to present the information bright and clear. In all these conditions, we have to promote and popularize Sambo further. We all understand very well the sports, especially Sambo. In the result of the loss of uh, cultural benchmarks by many people, may work as a lighting house for many people, lighthouse for many people, and play a great, uh, not only sportive role, but also cultural, social, and educational. Our task is to provide a push for the further perspectives of developing of Sambo in all the spheres of everyday life. But for this to happen, we have to find adequate ways of organizing cultural and social life to exit the chaos of uh, uh, the changing times. It is clear that based on the basis of modern democracy, the structures of uh, civil society have to play uh, a big role. By disseminating Sambo in the world, we have to base on the macro level and also on the local level of uh, society and individuals. The informative uh, um, components uh, and the visual uh, components have to play good, uh, have to occupy a large uh, place. Uh, for example, a good uh, film about Sambo to be shown to the young people. And only by joint efforts we'll be able to promote Sambo not only in Russia, but all over the world. A good example for this is South Korea, where I'm based now, and where I teach Sambo at the university. Finishing my presentation, I can say proudly and very clearly that the main victory and further perspectives for Sambo development are in the future. Thank you. And thank you, Yevgeny. Your questions, colleagues, please. Moscow State Pedagogical University, Maxim, in the very beginning, you said that compared to Oriental combat sports, Sambo is aimed to self-defense you are teaching in South Korea. Have you come now? Have you come across the difference uh, of mentality? In Russia, we have one mentality. 
you are teaching Sambal the uh, Russian-based uh, uh, combat sports and uh, in Korea, have you come across any difference in mentality? Thank you for your questions. If we compare the CIS country's mentality and Korean mentality, most probably, yes, I've come across certain challenges because to my opinion, here, they are more based on respect not in the sports aspect but cultural phenomenon so even if we compare the athletes i teach here at the university and the ones uh, i taught in russia the level of uh, preparedness physical preparedness and uh, mental preparedness and motivation is different i'm trying to motivate them more uh, to the results of uh, fight more questions no questions. So the next presentation will be done by Larisa Rishkova from the Russian Salivk University. Uh, who is going to tell us about uh, the Indicators of uh, uh, conducting competitive wrestling among boys and girls, uh, competitive uh, fighting among boys and girls uh, fencing with sabers as part of the junior national team of Russia. Good afternoon. Thank you for the invitation, and I'm glad to present at this uh, Congress. I have a very brief uh, presentation. Highly esteemed uh, chair, highly esteemed uh, delegates. As uh, mentioned, uh, uh, my presentation will be about the Sabre Fence um, uh, uh, Junior National Team of Russia. As of today, the main aim is to grab the initiative. Uh, the main aim for in training of uh, Sabres uh, uh, is to grab the initiative at the very beginning of the fight. These peculiarities uh, uh, are manifested in the competition fighting and they bring in various uh, uh, movements and with various results. The goal of this study was uh, to define the different means of fight and their uh, resultiveness among the junior Sabre uh, national team of Russia. The analysis of tactical uh, actions and their effectiveness allowed us to uh, identify the situational diversity of the use of such actions and also how well the um, athletes have been equipped, uh, equipped with these actions. We assess them from the point of view of the resultiveness uh, and the scope of these uh, different movements. In the result of this study, it was shown that the parameters of technical tactical equipment of various uh, athletes are practically the same. Mainly, attacks prevail. And this is uh, considered to be the most uh, significant uh, action and both among young men and young girls, uh, uh, but certainly in young men, attacks prevail. The scope of uh, mutual attacks uh, also exist, and uh, they have a great meaning when in 
opposition of uh, the competitors when the athletes try to predict uh, the further actions of the opponent, though they do not bring any points. In uh, saber fencing, there are not so many mutual attacks. Both among the leaders of uh, male and female teams. As for the defense with the counterattacks, their scope is uh, much lower, both among young men and young girls. The resultiveness among uh, young men is higher compared to young uh, girls. Counterattacks have high requirements uh, uh, in terms of various skills uh, that may be uh, uh, shown by an athlete. And as a skill, we can single out here the right moment uh, the athlete has to select for the counterattack. But the young girls uh, are more successful in counterattacks, and their resultiveness in counterattacks uh, are much is much higher. In the result of this study, we understand that we have to train uh, to focus our trainings on the uh, defense and uh, uh, counterattacks and also broaden the technical tactical mastership of uh, young athletes, both male and female, in SABRE national team. The data we have received uh, became the basis of the practical guidelines uh, with the help of which we can uh, uh, raise the resultiveness of uh, uh, saber fencing. Thank you for your attention. The question is out of the mic, sorry. Counterattacks. It's very difficult to answer. There are not so many counterattacks, but I would say that the young girls select the moment for counterattack uh, uh, better. And counterattack and attack uh, uh, in males is uh, quicker and more powerful, while the young girls. Uh, uh, move uh, a bit slower, and that's why they can sense the beginning of the movement of the opponent quicker and counterattack more effectively. That's how I may interpret it. Thank you, Larissa. What shall next? We have uh, Arlov uh, Victor uh, Victor Arlov from Moscow. Uh, Solivka University, who will tell us about the technology for determining kinematic dynamic indicators of karate players during a survey of competitive activities in Qatar. Uh, good afternoon, dear colleagues. For all of you who deal with the theory, methodology, and practice of modern uh, combat uh, sports and martial arts, it is evident that the pedagogical analysis and the objectivity of uh, success of uh, martial artists is uh, very topical. How can we resolve this? Only if we develop the criteria of competitive activities, it would allow to assess not only the resultiveness of uh, the athlete's performance, but to compare their mastership of the opponents, identify pos positive and negative aspects of the athlete's preparedness. The information about the specifics and the nature of uh, competitive activity of the athletes 
allows to uh, select the means for the uh, preparation and training and this allows to train the uh, athletes to achieve certain results. The increase of the accuracy of the competitive activity in sports uh, combat arts uh, demands uh, special registration means and equipment. And the Department of uh, Theory and Methodology of the Oriental uh, Martial Arts, we are dealing with the study of these uh, challenges for a long time and trying to find uh, a way for its resolution. In my presentation, I would like to share some results of our work. The topic of my presentation has been announced. I am going to speak about uh, uh, kinematic dynamic uh, parameters of the uh, karate when conducting the examination of the competitive kata activity. We tried to make a correlation between the effectiveness of kata uh, movements uh, uh, in uh, competition by various athletes and the judges uh, marks uh, of these uh, combats it is necessary uh, kata in okinawa uh, karate and bundo japanese uh, martial arts, uh, and also in uh, Chinese Ushu, as well as Taekwondo and uh, Siddhat and Kali, is a large group of very strictly regulated exercises with a specific name or number. Any kata karate is a unique combination of movements, each of which consists of specific number of skills uh, both for defense and attack in specific directions and specific order that imitates a row of uh, dual-like uh, fights with uh, a different number of virtual opponents that may attack from various sides and uh, their kata performer has um, wins uh, the majority of them sh thus showing a uh, higher mastership you see here kata anandai and uh, this is from the karate Ryurdoi, the older school competitions in kata karate is an exclusive uh, competitive activity but uh, at the same time an individual uh, combat art it is a short-term conflict activity with no direct uh, interaction with the opponent. It has very high level of psychic uh, qualities of karate, so the individual technical and special technical preparation. The athlete has to master a whole scheme of uh, moving uh, skills and uh, specific capabilities. These aspects of preparation of the athletes uh, define uh, very specific peculiarities in this discipline. The competitions in kata is uh, a very specific uh, sport with the subjective uh, judging of the athletes. It is iterational expert assessment when seven judges use a qualitative scale of uh, ranking uh, athletes define their winners the lack of instrumental methods uh, to measure the parameters of sports activity and uh, led to the fact that the only objective assessment was uh, the judge's assessment. But this result does not conclude the information about the performance of the athlete. Uh, some may be errors or uh, 
backdrops of the performance and thus doesn't allow to identify the uh, drawbacks of uh, various aspects of preparedness of the athletes. When speaking about the Qatar national uh, Russian team, is uh, the uh, when we prepare these athletes, we try to analyze all the leaders, uh, global leaders, all the athletes of the highest qualification, very thorough knowledge and understanding what the strongest opponents are, is uh, an inherent part of the preparation of the Russian athletes to the European and World Championships. Uh, certainly, systemic analysis of the competitive activity of the uh, leaders, uh, global leaders, uh, is uh, essential, and also accumulation of the database. The comparative analysis of the leading Russian athletes and the global athletes uh, have uh, demonstrated that the final athletes uh, achieved 27 um, points. Well, uh, these were the international athletes. The Russian athlete uh, has managed uh, to reach only 23 points and uh, uh, occupy the 23rd place. The same, practically the same pertained to the uh, male athletes. Again, the 23rd place was occupied, uh, uh, only the 23rd place was occupied by the Russian uh, Qatar athlete. This challenge defined the goal of our study uh, to identify the leading parameters of the competitive activity of among the leaders of the global Qatar Karate. that are necessary for objectivation of its study. Uh, we have used the uh, video registration method, chronometry, also pedagogical observation, and comparative analysis of the kinematic parameters of kata actions. It uh, was clear that the rapidness of movement is uh, a definitive factor in any combat sports, including kata. And remember, the kata uh, uh, athlete has to conduct uh, uh, a simultaneous fight with several virtual opponents, uh, winning over each one. Two leaders of the global rating in the individual kata, uh, and these were uh, Quintero Candevalo from Spain, and uh, the second one, his opponent from Dubai 2021. We have conducted the comparative analysis of the judges uh, uh, marks in the final performance we detected the factors that impacted uh, uh, the selection of the winner. In order to have the full-fledged information, we have uh, analyzed all the marks uh, uh, for the uh, athletes, and this allowed us to select the main components that impact the judges' marks. You see all the parameters in the table on the slide. You see the Japanese uh, athlete has a higher mark for the athletic uh, component than uh, the technical. And the opposing situation for the Spanish athlete. Thus, the Japanese uh, athlete has a prevailing athletic component, while the Spanish one vice versa. The comparative analysis also showed that the technical component, the Japanese athlete, 
uh, almost three times uh, exceeded uh, uh, in both components. While I continue my presentation, I'm showing the outstanding uh, performance by Kiona Ryu. And this is Kata Anandai. We use this uh, performance to assess the actions of the athlete. It's a bit jerky, but uh, nothing can be corrected. We have detected the velocity parameters. In order to exclude the social psychological reasons of uh, possible subjectivity of the judges' uh, marks, etc., the overall duration of Ananda is uh, two minutes fifty eight seconds. Uh, you see the pattern of the trajectory is rather simple, uh, resembling a cross. 15 regulated poses, 23 blocks and 43 strokes. 14 of them uh, with the legs, uh, others with their hands. Two uh, high-speed uh, series and 12 high-speed combinations, both uh, defense and attacks, uh, including opening and closing postures. If not jerky, yeah, the speed is uh, crazy, just crazy. He is 32, 32. This chart shows the time parameters of the high speed series and combinations and technical skills in Kanta Anandai. It is uh, considered that uh, the Kata performer when standing in a specific point faces south. The analysis of uh, both performances uh, showed that uh, the Spanish athlete uh, showed higher speed uh, uh, performing, but uh, when uh, uh, the slow video was observed, uh, it was found out that uh, his movements were not as clear as uh, uh, in the Japanese uh, athlete. We also analyzed kinematic and dynamic parameters uh, of a single technical trick uh, in the sixth combination. With the help of a special specific software, uh, Dartfish, uh, we define that uh, the length of uh, the action was 61 cent uh, centimeter and uh, 0 0.25 uh, seconds for the performance. Uh, the Japanese athlete had 0 uh, 68 centimeters and 23, 0.23 seconds. And thus uh, the uh, velocity of this stroke action uh, was... Uh, uh, 0 0.52 meters per second uh, uh, high uh, in the Japanese athlete. The main means of the uh, stroke interaction is the impulse. Hence, to define the dynamic parameters, we used the impulse form of the second Newton uh, law. Uh, shown on this uh, slide.
uh, with an uh, sum of all the uh, forces that uh, uh, impact the body uh, and the changes in the impulse of the body and the time for this change. In practice, simplified models of the processes are usually used where in which the force is considered to be constant. With certain assumptions, we can define a dynamic parameter of any stroke uh, action without uh, uh, complicated uh, instrumental methods. We, for this, we need to have the mass and the length of the body of the athletes. With the help of the coefficients of multiple regression to define the uh, mass segments of the male body. We defined this uh, parameter for both athletes. Uh, one of them had uh, 3.657, the other one 4. Uh, point zero twenty eight, but uh, the stroke in mechanics is uh, the short term interaction of uh, two bodies with uh, uh, for not longer than point uh, oh two seconds, and thus the fourth of the strike in Kintera was four hundred forty six uh, newtons, while. Uh, in Kiyune, uh, it was 596. Uh, thus, uh, the difference was 150 newtons uh, to the benefit of Kiyune, uh, the Japanese athlete. To simplify the understanding, in everyday life, instead of newtons, kilos are used. Thus, the Japanese athlete had uh, 17.6% per, uh, uh, kinematically uh, higher result and 23% dynamically higher result. In conclusion, we may state that the study conducted allowed to test the technology of uh, defining kinematic and dynamic parameters of the Karatis uh, uh, actions um in kata and uh, it confirmed the objectivity of uh, the data received and may be used as a model uh, competitive uh, competitive model when preparing the athletes for international competitions thank you for your attention and i'm ready to take your questions Yuri, thank you. Your questions, please. The question is out of the mic. The judges. Can we go back to one of my slides, please? The question is out of the mic. No way to interpret it. Point two uh, points. Step. That's how it is being uh, assessed. 7.2, 7.4, 7.6, etc. In Japanese, there is no... Uh, stroke only a termination of the sound, so it is kata in Japanese, not kata as in Russian. Uh, very often in Russian we say karateist, not uh, karateist. This is also a mistake. Any more questions? A very interesting presentation. Is it possible to create a software to simplify it for the judges uh, to provide objective uh, mark? 
it is a very specific uh, challenge. One of the criteria of uh, marking, they are marking strength, uh, speed, and uh, stability. But how can they visually assess the strength? They can assess technical components. Uh, only experience helps them. And all the cut uh, athletes uh, perform one after the other. So it is very difficult to remember the speed of the first athlete. So this confirms that such a software has to be created for the judges not to try and remember how all the previous athletes performed. Then it will take four to five days uh, for all the uh, competition to last. Now you have to create a computer footprint. Agreed. And thank you for your question. Thanks. More questions? No questions? Then thank you, Yuri, once again for your interesting presentation. Next presenter, Professor Fedorov from Lesgov University on integration of the system of long-term training for the athletes in boxing uh, of highest achievements. Can we have the presentation, please? Highly esteemed chair, highly esteemed colleagues, the topic of my presentation was not chosen by accident. The application of uh, limitations to the Russian athletes uh, as of lately uh, has uh, a very clear negative impact. And thus many athletes are moving into professional boxing. The difference in competitive activity uh, in the Olympics box, uh, uh, the athletes have five, six uh, fights, uh, uh, three rounds, three minutes each, while the professionals have uh, three to four fights a year uh, with eight to 12 rounds, depending on their qualification with this and the specific uh, boxer, three minutes each. We have very good examples. Of Russian boxers, um, uh, Olympic boxers uh, performing at the professional uh, ring. That's a graduate of uh, our university, Dmitry Bio, uh, world championship among the professionals. Another uh, graduate, uh, Alexander Pavetkin. And this is not a graduate of our university, but an Olympic champion of Tokyo Olympics, Albert Batergaziev. Now he is uh, performing successfully at the professional ring. What is the difference between the system of long-term preparation, energy uh, provision? In the Olympics box, it is mainly aerobic, anaerobic. Among the professionals, uh, mainly anaerobic. Or they are working long-term mainly, 30 or more minutes. Second, in the process of uh, multiple year preparation, long term uh, adaptation mechanisms have been formed to planned loads, short term velocity and energy work. Uh, in the second case, we have periodization of yearly cycles with planning on the basis of uh, preparatory and uh, pre-competition uh, microcycles with sparring mainly. Technical tactical in Olympic box, a uh, very broad arsenal of technical tactical actions is used uh, to um, fight with boxes with various manners of fighting. While among the professionals, uh, individual technical tactical means uh, are selected higher stress level does the individual psychological preparation on an individual basis is valid here 
based of all the above said, the topicality uh, of uh, the preparation of the professional boxes uh, seems to be dubious. Our technology includes the monitoring and analysis of uh, uh, competitive uh, fighting and identification of uh, various aspects of preparedness of the boxes, planning, modeling, and control of the individual uh, preparation of the boxes in, at various uh, training and uh, competition bases which is uh, uh, very important because it is so difficult nowadays uh, to gather the boxes at one facility in order to test everything simultaneously. Thus, we offer that uh, uh, a boxer and a trainer have uh, their own office and they may conduct uh, online testing, though various athletes and their trainers will be based in different geographical uh, locations. And we analyze many different aspects. And we claim that the Olympics box and the professional boxing are different, uh, almost uh, different uh, uh, types of sports. Uh, based on this test, we provide uh, recommendations. And these recommendations uh, uh, are available only to the personal trainer and the athlete. Psychomotor uh, capability of the athlete, to our opinion, is of a special interest. And that's an example of mastering psychomotor uh, capability of uh, Master of Sport uh, Olympic uh, champion and world champion uh, among professionals. Paying uh, uh, a lot of time to psychom motor activity. In conclusion, National Boxing Team of Lesgoft University, uh, Lesgoft uh, Team, Boxing Team, has become the strongest among all the students of Russia. 284 boxers in all took part in it, uh, in this competition, and five of them want to continue their career uh, from amateur to professional box boxing. Our department also thinks that we need the KMG, as was claimed by the first speaker, and the Department of the Methodology of Boxing of the Lesgoft University is uh, conducting such studies nowadays. Thank you, and thank you, Vladimir. Your questions, please. We are also dealing with this challenge. We have developed or even devised and patented a laser simulator of sensor motor response that allows the laser is projected in a free mode, head, uh, trunk, uh, we use a dummy and karateist is performing uh, the same movements as in a fight, in dynamics. Full contact uh, into the target, in the dummy in our case, or special uh, plastic targets are used. And thus uh, an athlete is training a specific movement. Think over it as well. We are ready to share. We uh, even have a candidate uh, thesis for this. The equipment is very uh, expensive. Yes. 
with laser uh, equipment of ours, you may resolve uh, many topical issues. A very interesting uh, aspect in uh, mastering psychomotor profile. Right. Next, Mikhail Bakulev, Lesgov State University. And the topic is intermuscular coordination of heavy weight boxes in different functional load conditions. Good afternoon, highly esteemed chair and the delegates. My presentation. shows uh, the analysis of uh, electric activity of the muscles uh, on the basis of which we uh, uh, may provide the characteristic of uh, individual boxes, uh, heavy weight boxes with basic strokes in the conditions of the high functional load. You see the methods of uh, study on this slide. In the process of uh, analyzing special scientific and methodological literature, we detected that uh, the peculiarities of fun the functional preparation of the heavy weight boxes is practically not considered in the aspect of intermuscular coordination when uh, implementing technical tactical uh, actions. While this is of paramount importance for the effectiveness of basic strokes and developing the methods that may train uh, such uh, actions and movements in boxes. The analysis of maximal uh, turn uh, amplitudes of the electric uh, muscular activity in heavy weight boxes, that uh, the coordination of the muscles uh, plays uh, a highly important role. And this is uh, a diagram of these strokes, diagramic view. It was uh, confirmed that the heavy weight boxes, when having a direct stroke after load, uh, the electric activity of uh, uh, the muscles may be increased or decreased. And uh, a different picture is seen in the uh, stroke from uh, underneath. And uh, the delta muscle activity um, is decreased after cardio load and uh, increased in direct uh, stroke. Uh, also, the abdominal muscles have been studied. The maximum amplitude of the turns of the um, femoral muscles was studied as well. Taking into account that reciprocity of the muscles uh, is one of the main characteristics uh, uh, in Atlas, we have calculated the following parameters for the heavyweight uh, uh, athletes. In direct stroke without preliminary load in heavy weight uh, boxes, various reciprocity is possible. Uh, different uh, parameters for the main uh, hand that secures uh, the strength of the stroke and uh, for the auxiliary hand. And the dynamic 
of the movement of the boxer went down after any uh, preliminary load. After the maximum uh, um, reciprocity was seen in the uh, uh, deltoid muscle and uh, uh, after cardio loads and the minimal one were in biceps and triceps after the uh, bending of the head to the left and to the right. Thus, we may confirm that the adaptation uh, to the loads uh, secures the balance of uh, coordination of the muscles. And as a result, we may work on the spacious uh, accuracy uh, force of the movement. This is confirmed by the results of uh, the analysis of bioelectroactivity of the boxes when performing tasks in various uh, loads condition. The highest parameters uh, were shown by the boxes uh, uh, when uh, hitting from underneath. Preliminary exercises with various vestibular loads impacted uh, uh, the, all the parameters. In direct stroke after load, we had uh, a high electric activity of the muscles. Uh, no change uh, of these parameters uh, with lateral stroke, while with a stroke from underneath, a uh, very significant decrease uh, of activity was seen. Based on all this data, we may state that there are unused reserves of uh, uh, motor activity and capabilities that may help to master tec the technical tactical capabilities of the heavyweight boxes and increase their uh, resultiveness. And you see the conclusions on this slide. Thank you. And thank you, Mikhail. Your questions, please. Out of the mic, sorry. What about the lower extremities muscles in uh, direct lateral stroke or also pelvic uh, muscles which secure the stability of uh, the athlete? We do have such data. We carried out stability electromyography. 16 muscle pairs were taken into account and the results were interpreted, but I'm not able to uh, tell you by heart. And uh, another question. What is the preferable distance for the heavyweight boxes? Close fight, but we aim our work uh, uh, to train the uh, athletes uh, uh, not only for their close uh, fight, but also average uh, distance. But for the heavyweight, close fight is uh, preferable. Which equipment did you use for intermuscular coordination? I can't name the apparatuses. Uh, uh, we went to Velikia Lukia, uh, electromyograph, uh, stabilograph were used, but uh, do not remember the names. More questions? Thank you, Mikhail. Next, Marina Tkachuk, Head of Anatomy uh, Department from Lesgoft uh, University. Uh, Morphofunctional indicators of uh, athletes as a factor of successful competitive activity in martial arts.
dear chair i'll esteem the uh, colleagues the importance of morphofunctional parameters as a criteria for casting martial artists uh, uh, as of lately we see that the individual training level of the athletes uh, is of great importance and uh, it is very important for the athletes to be able to adapt to loads different loads the goal of our study was to define the informative morphofunctional criteria of successful competitive activity in judo and uh, freestyle uh, wrestling 72 athletes took part in this study who specialized in these two types of uh, martial arts uh, average weight uh, 21 to 23 years and the uh, experience of uh, uh, sports experience eight years for all of them uh, out of uh, all of them we had the uh, low trained group uh, who became only candidates to the master of sports while the master of sports were uh, named as their highly trained group highly trained uh, wrestlers uh, or uh, combat artists uh, are different from the lower trained one uh, based on their uh, various anatomical parameters shown on this uh, chart comparative analysis of somatometric profile of highly trained uh, uh, athletes showed higher parameters of the length of ankle to the length of femoral bone and out of functional parameters highly trained uh, athletes uh, had uh, a chest excursion uh, you see different uh, different parameters here also the lung capacity uh, uh, Erisman index Yarho Kaupa index uh, and the life index freestyle athletes uh, it was marked have a higher uh, parameter of uh, lifting force or back strength as for some other type uh, you see here uh, judo on the left uh, freestyle on the right and heat cutter classification highly trained uh, freestyle uh, wrestlers have a high level isomorphic uh, level that characterizes the skeleton and muscles compared to judaism and the judaism uh, body the judaism trunk is uh, more elongated compared to freestyle in the result we have defined the, the morphofunctional parameters characteristic for the uh, martial artists of, or in combat sports uh, athletes of various level of uh, training different masterships that allow to use uh, this criteria for successful uh, selection of athletes into the national teams uh, judo and freestyle and we uh, I would like to thank you for your attention thank you out of your presentation i understood 
that people with longer legs uh, are more perspective. Uh, who you mean? Uh, Judaism. They do not have uh, longer legs, but the proportions, the ratio between ankle and femoral, while uh, with the others we compared uh, shoulder and uh, uh, arm length as a rule freestyle uh, in freestyle we have uh, uh, mainly people from the Caucasus and they have their own genotype uh, without uh, long legs not long legs but the proportion between the ankle and the femora thank you Daria out of the mic uh what age uh, they all started uh, uh combat sports 21 23 but all of them had eight years experience so you deduct eight years from 21 meaning that they started at 13 15 13 it's difficult to start at 19 because everything is changing afterwards Gen genetics yes certainly genetics plays a role here we stick to this point after 20 is uh, the best time the question is out of the mic How did you define this low trained and high trained? I've shown you Salagup and Taimazov started uh, the work in this direction. Low and high trained may be defined as we've done this. If you train for 10 years, and there's no growth, you are low trained. I'm ready to discuss this separately. We're speaking about the functional parameters, not the genetic ones. There are also slow and uh, quick ones. Uh, and this may be defined by the years of preparation. He may be a master of sports, but uh, a slowly trained one. But may be a candidate to master of sports, but a uh, quickly, rapidly trained one. The best thing is uh, the combination of uh, uh, quickly trained and uh, high trained one but this is just a very small fragment uh, out of the mic we conducted genetic studies at our anatomic department and define the power types of sports and uh, speed types of sport and genotyped them and we came to the conclusion that enter mesomorphal type is uh, uh, specific for speed type exomorphic is also specific and and uh, mesomorphic. All these represent uh, speeds, the uh, types of sport. We can't ignore the genetic factors and the modern 
selection uh, methods have to be based not on uh, genotype but on the phenotype or vice versa not on phenotype but on genotype we managed also to detect a whole series of uh, parameters that are characteristic for the uh, athletes with high trainability Professor Bakulev, out of the mic. No possibility to interpret. Identify highly trainable, highly gifted athletes. If we speak, uh, uh, that's if we speak about the high achievement sports. If we speak about the sports for each and everybody, we have to take everybody. That's what we do in the boxing. We take uh, uh, boys with short legs, long legs, uh, uh, overweight, uh, underweight, because uh, they may have other capabilities and uh, attributes that will help him in sport. You know that the, sometimes people without genetic predisposition but uh, uh, hardworking people manage to have uh, huge achievements. We value all athletes. There may be a, one more question here. Uh, was it the same trainer or were the trainers different? Because uh, the trainability indicator also depends uh, on the trainer. Patrick Dried from Sobe. It's a very interesting topic. But you know that uh, Riner is higher than two meters, taller than two meters, and uh, another world champion, 174. But what is important for Judo Samba are uh, the genes uh, that are responsible for the quality of the muscles and ligaments in order to avoid the traumas. So the quality of um, musculature and ligaments is to be the best. And the gene responsible for the psychology is also very important for these types of sports. Have you restored the bridge uh, over the Danube in Novisad? We have three now, and it will be number four. If no bombing again, everything will be okay. And uh, the main thing here, you have always to find the optimal level of work, not higher, not lower. I have not heard the beginning, at some point in Russia, the uh, topic of uh, sports genetics was uh, developed a lot, but it is not the main factor. Recently, a very interesting article was uh, published by the Japanese uh, who stated that the genetic aspect is not a factor that limits the sports uh, su success in sports. But the costs will be different. We conducted an experiment with uh, uh, the sampling of the best zombies of Russia.
we evaluated uh, all the genetic markers and uh, overall there were more than 300 uh, participants. The results shown that the genetics is uh, significant at the level of uh, initial selection and selection of uh, the type of sport and nothing to do with the uh, further success in sport. Everything is out of the mic. The interpreters cannot interpret when the speakers are not using the microphone. Sorry. Very interesting work. And what Sergey said uh, is absolutely right, especially for Judah. But the genetic factors have to be taken into account. Let's not go down to the level of Lysenko genetics. Uh, has to be developed without the genetics. The humankind will continue to be ill. Now, everybody needs genetics, maybe even more than IT technologies. Artificial intellect has been created that uh, now cancels uh, uh, human beings. So while the and that's a problem. While the genetics mean that we have to know ourselves better and know how to improve uh, the human being and thus improve the life on Earth. Maybe uh, there are genes that are responsible for aggressiveness. And if we study it, uh, we may uh, we might live uh, further on in peace. Similar studies were conducted on inmates in Russia. Genotypes were studied among murders or people after severe crimes, and they had very clear markers. So this is really uh, justified. Out of the mic, out of the mic. Out of the mic, sorry. Thank you for such an interesting discussion and the next presentation by Anton Pavlenko, head of the theory and methodology of Taekwondo and sports, uh, uh, combat sports of Lesgoft University. He is going to tell us about the influence of digital technologies and the objectivity of judging competitions in Taekwondo. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm not going to argue uh, whether genetics is important or not. Let's touch upon uh, ju judging and uh, digital technologies, uh, in particular in Taekwondo. Various types of sports uh, are being judged with the help of the uh, digital technologies. In uh, combat sports, uh, the digitalization uh, appeared a bit later. Uh, fencing was uh, maybe a one of the first back in 1970s uh, i've seen some patents registered at that time as far as i know 19 uh 2023 uh, karate is going to launch these uh, digital systems but i would like to speak more about taekwondo itf the olympic uh, sports 
Yeah, for the first time, uh, the attempt was made uh, to use the electronic system for 100% objectiveness. When the human factor uh, is aimed to be eliminated. So the first electronic systems appeared in 1990s. These are simple machines to calculate the points. Uh, based on the example of the Olympic Taekwondo, we uh, tried to understand the objectiveness of judges. Digital technologies are used when judging competitions of various levels, starting from children up to the Olympics. You see Hramsov, the Olympic uh, champion. And uh, the Olympic medalist, Denis Enka, uh, at the training of the national team. The goal was to define the factors and the level of impact of uh, digital technologies impacting the objectivity of uh, judging. And several uh, tasks define the main factors that impact the um, digital technologies and also identify technological uh, solutions, methods, analysis of scientific uh, methodological literature, a questioner of the judges as well. The first stage from May to December 2022. And at that time, the uh, rules of the competition changed. Now our rules are very similar to boxing. Uh, the best in the round is the main principle. That's why the new rules were launched from January. While in Russia, from the university games in the summer second stage, statistical analysis of the data received and uh, uh, conclusions uh, we have uh, selected the um, publications of uh, various authors, including people in this room as well. Statistical reports of the judges of St. Petersburg uh, Taekwondo Federation and Moscow Federation were used. All sports judges uh, took part in the questionnaire. Uh, 20 in all uh, had either the first uh, judge category or the all Russian uh, judge category. We uh, tried to select the judges with the uh, many years uh, experience who have witnessed several uh, changes of the rules uh, for the competition. In the process of the study, based on the questionnaire, why have we selected the questionnaire, uh, the judges? For example, in my previous work, uh, I tried to ask uh, both athletes and trainers. But in this work, we decided to do something new, ask the judges. So in the process, we have identified several factors when the competitions were judged based on the Olympic version of Taekwondo. The majority of uh, the respondents selected as uh, conditionally positive factors. The uh, decrease of the human factor in the process of uh, judging. But in our system, the human factor is uh, very low. And another positive factor reflecting the results of the combat in uh, the uh, real life mode. Then the decrease of the number of appeals uh, based on the results of the combat. Uh, this was marked by all the judges. If before 
very often appeals were filed uh, practically uh, after every combat, now very rarely. Only in case of violation of some uh, uh, judging systems, for example. Next point, uh, increase of the quality of the organization of the competitions and their safety. These are the positive factors. Conditionally negative factors connected with the use of the digital technologies when judging the competitions. The following were marked by the judges. Decrease of the number of uh, so-called uh, uh, hot situations, standard tactics. The Olympic version of Taekwondo has become very, um, a bit boring. The dynamics uh, has gone down. The idea was that with a new point system and the points are given for their complexity of the effectively used uh, uh, movement. Uh, but the, we were striving to achieve the dynamics of the 90s, of the previous century. But now with the electronic system, the number of uh, spectacular situations go down. And the second negative point um, marked by the judges and also the athletes is that the technical actions uh, variants are used that uh, are not spectacular. And from the point of view of the spectators, this is not very interesting or very beautiful. This certainly impacts the image of the sports and it's uh, it being spectacular. As for the systems themselves, first systems were based on the pneumatic principle. It was uh, a gillet with the pipes and the sensor. When a stroke was made, uh, the amount of the air pushed out was assessed. These pneumatic systems uh, led to one or two technical movements uh, that have been left. Uh, mm, uh, the uh, athletes were trying to hit with the maximum uh, force. A special software uh, was created at the next uh, stage and a special uh, receiver block and also block for transfer of data. Uh, and the joysticks are used uh, by the judges as well. More points um, added for complicated technical uh, movements. Um, protective uh, gillet and uh, helmet um, also include uh, the sensors that define the force and the accuracy of the stroke. Also, there are special foods or socks with the sensors, protective uh, socks with the fences. That's how the transmitters and joysticks, helmets, uh, socks look like. Maybe a bit outdated because uh, things are updated all the time. The software and its uh, advantages. They allow to register the force of the technical actions or strokes in conditional units. Our biomechanics 
uh, checked it. It's not newtons, not kilos. It's some uh, conditional units. And they correlate with uh, certain points. At least what has been checked by our biomechanics uh, specialists, and they found out that there was uh, no uh, newtons or kilos, only conditional units. But still, it is uh, an indicator. Number of uh, precise uh, hits. Uh, uh, throughout the period of the combat. How many touches? This may be defined with the accuracy up to a share of a second. Uh, next advantage, uh, possibility to automatically uh, uh, enter correction into the overall uh, count of, of the combat after the penalties. Also, automatic fixing of the zones of uh, hits. As for the reporting, there are other advantages, uh, overall number of uh, combats in each uh, weight category, number of uh, victories, uh, uh, and also distribution of athletes uh, according to their ranking. Very convenient and allows to organize uh, the competitions at a higher level. But on the one hand, the objectivity goes down, but uh, at the same time, the competitions become less spectacular. We are now trying to eliminate this lack of uh, being spectacular now. Uh, the dynamic uh, became uh, the dynamics research with a new uh, version of the rules, but now we'll see what will happen further. Uh, the world ha was open for the Russian uh, Taekwondo athletes. They are going to go to Baku. And let's hope that after the uh, a year break, they will manage to come back to their Olympics, uh, uh, most recent Olympics results. Thank you very much. Your questions, please. I have looked at the reports recently, including KMG works, including Taekwondo. Very formal and uh, unclear evaluation of the results of competitive activity of Taekwondo. Though this is one of the main factors that have to be the basis or one of the basis of the training process. How do you see your participation in this uh, work in our department <clears throat> together with the physiology department? We are working on the development of the control means. We are not against this with our colleagues. Your question is very interesting. I agree with you because it seems to me that the problem here is that when the people who do not know the specifics of uh, uh, concrete uh, uh, sports, for example, being a uh, runner, for example, uh, they probably can't understand their combat sports. And so this won't be good. As for the electronic systems, 
there will be certainly a many drawbacks especially in our type of sports and if Will we be able to connect uh, your department with the uh, work uh, with national teams? Certainly. My question is as follows, maybe not to you exactly. The electronic uh, systems for judging, why not uh, the sensors on the arms? You know, in Korea, uh, there is a sports uh, taekwondo type uh, with the legs uh, prevailing system. And if the sensors were uh, on the hands, the athletes changed their tactics. So that's why actually the positioning is that the stroke has to be technically fully correct uh, otherwise the sensor won't uh, respond out of the mic it's impossible. It will be something else. There were ideas. We have uh, a shin guard type uh, uh, gloves. When a fist is closed, so that uh, an athlete would hit only with a fist. But uh, it showed that uh, uh, an athlete may fall very badly. And uh, the idea of hitting with a fist is very unclear because you can hit like this, not like this. I think this was done for the hand hits not to prevail so that the legs would be uh, active as well. In kickboxing and karate, uh, there is a full-fledged work from top to bottom. But if uh, an athlete hits only with the hands, it will be not interesting at all. Not artificial, but... We... That's... Uh, the sport, how it was formed, uh, also the leg hits. The rules uh, previously were one point for each hit and now they are diversified. Uh, this is a high-tech sport. I think everything is uh, interconnected here. The question is out of the mic. As a rule, the developers of the sport uh, uh, introduce the innovations into the rules. Uh, do you have a similar system? Uh, in the beginning, it was like this, but taking into account that Korea was number five at the competition, but initially, it was like this. Uh, those were responsible for the rules who was paying the piper. But we have uh, 
the developers of the electronic system, uh, certainly the experts in the in Taekwondo and also an engineer. We also have uh, our analogs, our uh, uh, systems, but certainly uh, business moments are also present. Uh, I see that people are ready for lunch, so it's time for a short break. We'll be back at 3 p.m. sharp.
The topic is the peculiarities of uh, pre-competitive preparation in modern Taekwondo. And please, next speaker, Gita, be prepared. Dear moderators, dear delegates, the topic of my presentation is on this slide. In modern days, in, uh, we have three different uh, uh, Taekwondo, MTF, ITF, and GTF uh, uh, in accordance with the relevant uh, international organizations. Uh, for MTF, there are nine competitive disciplines in GTF uh, 11. And their diversity envisages different approaches in pre-competitive preparation. The possibility um, that the athlete may take part in several uh, disciplines. Um, there are different approaches. For example, both individual and group uh, uh, performances uh, may be one combination, one difficult combination. And uh, these are different uh, competitive programs. Diversity of these disciplines, on the one hand, uh, broadens the possibilities of the athletes they may realize themselves both in one discipline or in several ones. But on the other hand, certainly decreases the possibility of narrow competitive uh, specialization that may have a negative impact in terms of resultiveness. The task of uh, devising the cycles of pre-competitive uh, preparation is evident. Our study was conducted after the analysis uh, of uh, Taekwondo GTF uh, performance of uh, uh, the Russian athletes uh, that took part in Sochi. Combat fights, you see this is a very acute uh, position within the framework of competitive rules. This is an individual gala. Exercise in Taekwondo, this is Tum or Hyun in Karate, it's Kata. Oh, Kata. Uh, the, in Taekwondo, there is a format of mixed uh, pairs. Which certainly demands additional time for the preparation. This is uh, the special technique. Uh, uh, individual performance this uh, is a group of young girls uh, usually there are five but only three are shown here and this a uh, team performances and there are various uh, diversity of uh, teams for example uh, up to the first technical action or uh, when there may be a substitution uh, without stopping the performance. And this is uh, a power test. Up to five uh, boards are possible to be broken. Preparation of uh, the athletes, especially for some tests, is uh, combined with the difficulty in terms of preparing uh, during the pre-competitive cycle. And the others may demand uh, the mastering of uh, formal disciplines. 
when planning, both the athletes and the trainers thought that uh, for a long time that the uh, simultaneous uh, performance in various disciplines, uh, but it now shows that uh, when planning, the trainers have to select the disciplines uh, on the basis of the principle one main one and uh, auxiliary ones, uh, um, rare uh, two main ones and the auxiliary ones. Most often, uh, three or more disciplines are selected. For younger athletes, uh, as for the older ones, uh, um, the athletes after 18 years of age, uh, two or three. You see, uh, you will see now the statistics of the performance of the um, Taekwondo GTF at uh, the uh, All Russian Championship. You see that at the uh, All Russia Championship, the specialization is narrow. Uh, most of the athletes select two disciplines compared to other minor championships where more disciplines are selected. When forming the algorithms for selecting the disciplines, the following factors have been selected. The analysis of competitive protocols, the analysis of uh, preparation of uh, sportsmen in Krasnodar region, uh, St. Petersburg and Chelyabinsk. Pre-competitive preparation is based on three microcycles. For junior athletes, three Competitive disciplines is preferable for light and uh, average weight uh, classes because uh, these athletes at junior age have an elongated body and they may very quickly adapt to uh, special techniques for those old, uh, those athletes old, uh, 18 years of age, a power test for heavy weight and uh, uh, special techniques for light and average weight. The order for juniors and uh, grown up athletes is identical. Not more than 5% uh, in terms of preparation in auxiliary discipline in order to avoid traumatism. You see here the distribution of time in pre-competitive preparation. Many trainers think that the main discipline uh, are the uh, sports fights. And hence, more time is dedicated to this uh, uh, discipline, prepar preparation for these disciplines. But uh, it is well known that uh, in Taekwondo uh, fights, uh, there are high levels of traumas, especially to the uh, skeletal system. Free fights very often provoke chronic traumas uh, manifestation, uh, so are more dangerous. And you see here several microcycles of preparation. Uh, the athletes have to be prepared for accidental exercises 12 to 18 uh the selection of this particular exercise is accidental very traumatic preparation for the uh, athlete to be full-fledgedly ready power test only in the last microcycle and up to five percent per institute that's the last column If the athlete performs only in the power test, only uh, uh, this discipline, no special preparation. Many athletes 
in spite uh, of the fact that this is uh, combat sports, uh, exclude uh, uh, fights from their uh, performance. And hence, the time for preparation is uh, uh, distributed as follows. Individual preparation is not being taken into account because it takes part in the region where the athlete is based. While the preparation that takes part in group uh, is uh, shown here, which and this is more difficult compared to preparation of the pair. It is necessary to maximally eliminate the uh, preparation of uh, the exercises that simulate uh, the uh, combating motions in order to avoid traumas. We are going to have master classes uh, at the end uh, of today in the main building, and you will see some examples. So, preliminary planning allows to select, uh, to optimize uh, uh, the pre-competitive preparation of the athletes and taking into account diverse disciplines for competition, the trainers have to select the priority as areas. Now, it is uh, easier done because most people understand this necessity, though many years ago, I remember there were some athletes who performed uh, uh, evenly in all disciplines, evenly well. Uh, we, in the result of this work, uh, may offer a special algorithm for the distribution of uh, means of preparation and time uh, in pre-competitive uh, work. We uh, also know that any person who decided to go in for non-Olympic Taekwondo may select any discipline for him herself. And uh, uh, an athlete of any Samata type may realize him herself. But here we have to take into account that uh, uh, performing in various uh, disciplines uh, may be an advantage. And uh, also there's a big load uh, for the judges because the judge uh, or all judges have to be uh, uh, equally good in all these disciplines. But on the other hand, the realization of recreative sessions allows to allow the task of a mass sport by implementation of uh, all these diverse disciplines. And allows many athletes to realize themselves Thank you. Your questions, please. I invite you to come by 4 p.m. to the master classes if we manage to optimize this process. Okay, next presentation. And thank you, Igor. Next presentation. Maxim Gita. The use of game technologies during universal combat training. Maxim. May I have my presentation, please? The use of game technologies.
dear colleagues and guests. I'm going to share our scientific research results of using game technologies when uh, training uh, the universal combat at Moscow Pedagogical State University. We also conducted the work uh, studying the minimal age of uh, enrolling people into the groups for universal combat, including the young school age, primary school age. So today I'm going to demonstrate the primary uh, results of our study. The Universal Combat Program 2022-25, uh, as of the end 2022, the primary uh, group uh, from 10 to 11 years amounted to 1,200 uh, children. Uh, the main task uh, uh, when uh, dealing with this group is to avoid to a maximum any traumas. And we certainly, taking into account the age of the children, have to think how to uh make uh, the sessions more attractive for the children and hence the game technologies we had to justify the essence and the contents of the game technologies and how e they should be introduced into the training process the tasks were to analyze uh, the game approaches uh, to sport uh, provide characteristics of the essence and contents, uh, develop a model of the use of uh, game technologies uh, in universal combat initial stage and justify the correctness of the selected uh, um, conditions uh, for organization and training. Uh, the following results have been received. Uh, our definition of the game technologies and the universal combat which is a system of action to develop and the introduction of game technologies into the training process at the initial stage of the sports preparation in order to form a stable interest to the sessions and form um, motor capabilities and skills we also conducted uh, the uh, questionnaire of, of the trainers, including uh, trainers of the national team of Russia. 14 of 20 experts agreed with this definition, uh, while the rest uh, provided some comments that had been taken into account. The content of game technologies is uh, uh, means uh, certain uh, certain aspects that have to be uh, introduced into the uh, training process and be aimed uh, to develop their uh, motor skills and avoid traumas to a maximum. In our author's model, we have um, also developed uh, three main stages, uh, contextual uh, block, then the technological block, which is uh, directly connected with the uh, contents uh, block or conceptual block, and also uh, the motivation block. On the basis of this block, we uh, selected the games that would be suitable for the uh, initial group. And we also uh, try to form the right attitude uh, towards the universal combat, what the combat is all about. And then we have uh, a developing sub-block 
when we prepare the uh, young athletes for future combats. There is also a control and uh, assessing block that includes uh, the following criteria, uh, physical preparedness, technical preparedness, and motivation. In order to increase the resultiveness of the game technologies, uh, after each block, we discuss the results, uh, uh, reward the uh, participants. And one of the main links in the model is the feedback that is aimed to develop corrective actions in order to improve the effectiveness. The feedback is working highly effectively. To do this, we have to secure control and uh, assessment um, measures at various stages of the process. In order to implement this model well, we have to observe the following conditions. We, uh, first, developing game technologies, which takes a lot of time then uh, raising the level of pedagogical mastership of all the trainers, in particular uh, from the point of view of introducing game technologies uh, into the training and implementation of the skills uh, for uh, developing motivation. We have introduced this model uh, in the avant-garde club. Uh, as of today, um, the trainer of this club is Andreev and are going to present the results of this work at a later stage. We uh, individualize the modeling of the process uh, for the preparation to universal combat at each stage of uh, the preparation and introduce the remote mode of uh, preparation. the model that you have presented uh have you used uh, the uh thesis that have been defended at vifk uh, uh, to develop this model i myself graduated uh, from vifk or the physical uh, culture institute and a similar model was presented in my uh, thesis that was dedicated to psycho-emotional preparation, but also we used Tatar Ivanov, Tataru Ivanov, and Blahin uh, works when developing this model. Thank you. Any questions more? Thank you. The next presenter is Natalia Aimbetova from the National Lesgoft uh, Institute uh, Boxing Department. Uh, and she is going to tell us about the technical and tactical training of boxers. Dear colleagues, if you want to go to the gala performance at 4 p.m., we have seven speakers more and uh, 35 minutes. So maybe we'll try uh, to shorten our presentations by discussing the results and their interpretation. The first presenter who is going to present less than five, for less than five minutes will be awarded by a chocolate bar from Serbia. You're welcome. So, the technical tactical preparation of boxes demonstrated that many specialists see this as bilateral education. And some individualize the approach by studying and examining the peculiarity of the uh, 
ethics functioning. The most important studies have been conducted in the 1960s uh, um, uh, I mean, the brain functions, uh, and Natalia Bechtereva was uh, one of the greatest pioneers. Today, many aspects of the brain activities have been studied well, and we are trying to carry on with these studies. The brain activity means uh, the ability of a human being to perceive and process the information, the parameters of the brain activity are memory, processing of the information, and transmitting uh, of the information. In uh, boxing, uh, this is uh, tightly connected with the tactics and uh, uh, technique of uh, the fight. As you see from the diagrams shown on the slide, both the sports activity uh and in the everyday activity we see the same practically the same aspects our study was aimed uh, to the processing of information speed and accuracy of this or a throughput ability of the brain the uh inborn capabilities uh, of the brain or the alpha rhythm are the basis for the speed of uh, processing the information while the probability of uh, taking the right decisions depends on uh, uh, many peculiarities of the brain the goal of the study is to define and justify the individual approach uh, in technical tactical preparation. The basis of our study were the statements confirmed uh, earlier that the sensor motor level of the intellect is a basal and may be seen in informative uh, workability or the tactics and sensor motor uh, trainability or the technique. And the low level of sensor motor intellect is a hurdle to uh, the training and education. The principle or the experimental approach we used is described on the slide. In the beginning of the experiment, when we studied the throughput ability of the brain and the reserves uh, of uh, this throughput ability, we received the following results. Nine athletes have shown high level of throughput uh, activity, nine uh, average uh, activity, and uh, four lower than the average. Processing of the information depended on the correctness of taking the decision, and the reserve of throughput activity was detected in one boxer, and the maximum potential uh, here of five alternatives were detected in one athlete as well. The others have demonstrated three or four alternatives. After our experiment, the following results were received. Throughput activity of the brain significantly increased which was explained by the decrease of the mistakes um, made. And a less significant decrease was seen in the time needed for processing of the information. We can't speak about the preparation of the boxes without studying the technique of the boxes in the conditions of a fight or competitive activity. Hence, we defined the effectiveness of the attacking and defensive activities. In the beginning of the experiment, the coefficient of uh, effectiveness of actions amounted to 19 uh, conditional units and counterattacks uh, 20 uh, conditional units. By the end of the experiments, these parameters grew.
The change of technical technical mastership allows uh, the boxers to demonstrate a richer arsenal of the technique. And the boxers had advantages compared to their opponents, and thus their competitive activity improved. That's it. Then you, you, Natalia, your questions, please. No questions. Then the next presentation, Daria Mikhailova, National State University, named after Leskoft, St. Petersburg. Modification of uh, the DRC Barai uh, technique in judo, models and training technology. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I will tell you about quite a difficult technique. Why is it difficult? Because this is the initial uh, step for the yellow belt. And it includes the motion that is uh, on the one hand, quite complicated in execution, but also on the other hand, has a lot of modifications. The basic model of a subarai that's um, a whole a series, so or actually of actions and we can't modify uh, the basis of the technique, we can modify only the details. In particular, the direction of the action of uh, the motion, the length of steps, the number of steps. We can modify the direction of uh, motion on the side of execution. We may change the initial position of feet depending on the direction of the motion. Let's have a look at the basic variants that are performed in two steps, but there are three in all. So first variant is a step backward in semicircle. Uh, second, uh, also one step backwards uh, with the step uh, sideways. And number three is uh, step forward with the Puke uh, and Toria legs uh, moved forward with the turn towards uh, Tori. Thus, we have uh, six modifications. Now we pass over to typic modifications. We make two steps here, two preparatory steps in order to make a point that would allow us to use this uh, motion with the maximum effectiveness. On one side, we had 15 modifications like this. If we multiply by two, we'll have 30 for two sides. If we uh, analyze basic modifications uh, in accordance with the same scheme, we will eliminate some and we'll have 18 modifications by deducting six from 30 that we have analyzed already and then six more that are executed at counter step. My Disciples show here the first uh, typic modification on the left, uh, uh, a preschooler. This v modification with he can perform this variant, while uh, the others uh, modifications are not yet uh, uh, available for preschoolers and the other children are primary schoolers. The second variant. Okay. 
and third variant moving forward. And you may see how the Google method is used. This is a, a designer method for combat sports when uh, uh, the athletes have different anthropomorphic uh, peculiarities. Now, the second part of the study pertaining to the training, how should we train these modifications and how can we check it? First here is uh, training in accordance with three stages. of the educational task technologies uh, proposed by uh, Moisev uh, from St. Petersburg. And uh, I may stop here for a separate present, might have stopped here for a separate presentation, but will not. Second, we study motor activities uh, uh, in a cyclic way. First year, we just get acquainted with everything. Second year, deeper dive. And uh, third year, we can start uh, uh, mastering the technique. The first thing we uh, learn are the first and third modifications of two steps because uh, they are on the one hand. The first modification is the simplest, while the second modification is needed for the functioning within the framework of uh, the training process. We will start learning the other modifications at uh, year three of uh, trainings uh, in order to master uh, the already uh, learned basic modifications. I've already mentioned the Google uh, method. So it is worthwhile to start qualification for who at the end of third year of modification, starting from age eight. But in order to pass uh, for this method at eight, uh, we have to start at age five. And since before mastering these complicated skills, uh, we have to master um, the simpler ones. We have to start at the age of three with the basic judo skills. And this is a totally new method that is now promoted by the Federation of Judo of Russia. Taking into account the low physical level, uh, level of physical development of uh, our children, uh, the other method is also viable. So what have we come up with? Uh, the longer the children go in for sports, the better they perform. That's quite logical. The same is true for the third modification, and the test shows that the division that uh, uh, the exam has to take place not earlier than the end of the third year of uh, trainings, because uh, then all the motions will be performed at a different qualitative uh, uh, level. We have also come up with good uh, relationships for two modifications uh, uh, with a step backward. But longitudinal studies still go on and only this year we've managed to resume full-fledged uh, uh, trainings four times a week. So we're still in the process. 
I am ready to answer your questions and uh, thank you for your attention. No questions. Oh, we do have one question. If we have uh, modifications, this will not be a Sibarai any longer. It will be something new. Not a Sibarai technique, but something new. When we speak about a Sibarai, we speak only about up to a Sibarai. If we pass over to Kosi Tugari, it's a different technique and we study it separately. And we make a line uh, between the Asibarai four steps forward and the traditional variant of five steps, Kosi Tugari. And there's a difference, uh, the leg with which we start uh, moving, uh, the turn, the grab and the uh, uh, movement of the hands and also the point of application of uh, Nitaka. So they differ. Though some people, all the movements are s different, though it may s they may seem similar to some people. Thank you. Natalia Gorska. From the anatomy department, let's go to University Physical Fitness of Young Taekwondo Athletes of Different Somatotypes. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. High level of popularity and high level of competitiveness in modern Taekwondo uh, needs um, makes it necessary uh, for the trainer to bring up a champion without any harm to his or her health. Uh, thus, we have to take into account the somatic uh, attributes of young uh, Taekwondo athletes uh, in order to plan uh, the training process right, taking into account all the individual peculiarities. Identification of successfulness criteria in uh, combat sports allows to broaden the understanding about the adaptability of the organism to various loads. The study of uh, physical preparedness uh, of uh, Taekwondo athletes, uh, 15, 16 years of age, different somatotypes will allow to develop uh, uh, the uh, preparation, training preparation programs based on individual peculiarities and characteristics of the athletes. <clears throat> Thus, we have to prepare the guidelines um, on the basis of a comparative analysis of uh, testing uh, of uh, physical preparedness of Taekwondo athletes. We conducted our study on the basis of two sports schools, in one in Sevolersk Olympic Reserve uh, School and the other Olympic Reserve School called uh, Comet in St. Petersburg. 36 young uh, um, teenagers, uh, 15, 16 years old, uh, took part in the study. All the necessary anthropometric uh, measures uh, have been taken. And the uh, Chernarovsky classification was applied. After testing of physical preparedness and assessment of the physical development of the athletes uh, with the help of the indices method, a comparative analysis was conducted of uh, some other type of the athletes and their physical preparedness. And also the stud graphics method was applied. In the process, uh, we have found out the presence of all the three types of uh, body build. The prevailing uh, type was uh, a stanic type, 65% and uh, uh, 25 and 19 respectively for normal stanics and hypersthenics. Asthenics are uh, more lean and uh, elongated, 
uh, normal stenics uh, have a better developed uh, chest and hypersthenics uh, uh, more weighty. The results of the testing show the following. Length jump. The asthenics showed a much better result uh, compared to the other two groups, with no difference between the latter two. Uh, running 30 by 8, uh, better performed by normal asthenics. Uh, lifting the trunk uh, from uh, lying uh, on the floor on the back and now running 30 meters uh, was results uh, for asthenics lifting of the uh, trunk was better done by hypersthenics Bending forward from the standing position on the bench. Best results uh, were for asthenics. Normal asthenics showed better results in this test compared uh, with hypersthenics. Thus, the results of the study. We may say that the physical preparedness of Taekwondo athletes depend on their somatic status. The data we received will allow to develop a scientifically justified uh, guidelines uh, to optimize the training process of the athletes based on the individual uh, features. In other words, our main task is to develop a simpler technique for the trainers of various class, uh, young trainers, for example, who could make uh, simple measures on the basis of their facility, whether it will be a sports school or just a gym. Such measures as, for example, Pinier index that will immediately demonstrate whether uh, the athlete is normal stenic, asthenic, or hypersthenic, and um, on the basis of this, uh, develop a program for training. Thank you, Natalia. No questions. Next, Valentina Pushkina from Moscow State uh, Pedagogical Institute. Uh, will tell us about the comparative analysis of the functional state of children with different levels of motor activity. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Very pleasant to be among professionals. We uh, are uh, working together with the combat sports uh, artists, though we are not one of you, but on the other hand, what about my presentation, by the way? Barannikov is the name. You must have it. Nevertheless, I'm not going to take your time and will carry on. So, when conducting the assignment, we analyze different uh, parameters of uh, the children. In 10 types of sports, taking into account that the uh, enrollment of uh, the children for the initial trainings, uh, uh, age for this enrollment is uh, thought to be brought down. Uh, since this question is under discussion, 
We have to take care about the health status of the children and also understand whether it may be worthwhile. Our studies have shown that the level of physical development and physical preparedness of the children is uh, uh eighty five percent of children have um low uh level of physical preparedness uh, so this uh proof has proven that the earlier we enroll the children the better because then uh, they will develop much better Anthropometric functional physiometrical indices have been measured. Physical preparedness was uh, also assessed, physical workability. And some indices like uh, body mass index were created and the circumference of chest. <coughs> the studies showed that the children who did not go in for sports, they were taller and uh, their weight was higher but the further analysis showed that the excursion for example of the chest was uh, uh, higher in those children who went in for sports so the circumference could be uh, less for example if we took the bmi for some children as a norm for those who didn't go in for Sambo, it was assessed as higher than the norm. Um, hemodynamic parameters shows that both the children who went in for sports and did not go in for sports, their parameters were within their norm for their age. But the young um, Sambo athletes had a bit lower parameters, such as uh, blood pressure, for example, meaning that they had, uh, even at rest, they had uh, optimization of the cardiovascular system. The lung capacity was much higher in uh, children who went in for sports, and then motor tests and physical workability. In all the tests, we conducted in which we test uh, the flexibility speed uh, those who went in for sports showed better results uh, except for flexibility flexibility was higher among those who did not go in for sports we tried to analyze why so and have come across an article that stated that various parameters between the athletes of high class was uh, conducted and number one is uh, overall endurance number two speed and uh, power and number three only coordination parameters This article dates back to 2022. We have to think why this happens. Maybe because flexibility is not the leading and necessary attribute for some athletes. So it was not being developed specifically. On the basis of our studies, uh, the sample was uh, quite large, 100 school children and 100 young Sambo athletes. And the results showed that if uh, the age of children or, or that the children would be enrolled to uh, sports groups at an earlier age, is okay but we have to control the physical and emotional status of uh, the children 
also increasing the qualification of the trainers because the overall endurance may be developed in children by uh, special motor games, motor activity games. Uh, thus, we will increase the functional reserves of the organisms uh, of the young children. We see that the level of the physical preparedness and the workability in uh, primary school children is not the highest. It is uh, normal, but at the average level, but it might be higher. How did you assess? Rufia test. The tests were conducted uh, in many children and we selected methodological uh, uh, approach that was not very complicated. Anyway, thank you. And I'm glad that I'm taking part in your session because uh, Uh, I may claim that the uh, Samba and Judo trainers uh, uh, are well prepared. Uh, I will have uh, many uh, trainers in these disciplines who will be uh, defending their thesis soon. And I've listened to the presentation by Viktor Vladimirovich. because I worked uh, for a year at the Ministry of Sports. And I've seen all the documents connected with the NMO program for development, and there's a very good uh, program for swimming where everything you've mentioned was done. And the same parameters were used, lactate, as you've mentioned. When lactate is high, uh, no high loads are used during the training. Sorry. We have uh, three more presentations and uh, they are waiting for us. I thought I was the last one, sorry. Thank you. And now Marina Rostovtseva, Russian University of Sports, Solivk, Moscow, on improving the coordination capabilities of athletes specializing in martial arts by means of gymnastics and aerobics. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I will try to be brief because I want a chocolate bar. You see the topic of the presentation and the authors. When selecting the children for combat sports, the trainers are looking for highly active and well-coordinated children, but the coordination Training, in fact, is practically absent in 
groups. But based on the opinion of the trainers, qualified trainers, uh, specific coordination training is used. Gymnastics, dance, uh, musical and rhythmic uh, exercises, aerobics, etc. Outstanding scientists listed on this slide consider coordination factors as one of the main prerequisites of sports progress, but they mark that the motor regress envisages continuous accumulation of uh, extraordinary movements and skills. Moreover, Lach, whom you well know, has marked the impact of the so-called rhythm leaders, rhythm leaders in modern rhythmic gymnastics and aerobics are professionally uh, musical phonograms uh, designed with the specific BPM and uh, musical accents that makes people to work in a certain tempo uh, with specific clothes and variations with this tempo like asymmetric movements uh, by various parts of the body uh, allows to develop uh, a limitless uh, number of various exercises depending on the uh, people in the group and the tasks. And that's why we have selected this type of coordination training. Moreover, based on the data of other researchers, coordination capabilities of the combat uh, athletes are evaluated as one of the lowest. In 2006, it was shown that aerobics with uh, a younger uh, female combat athletes allowed uh, to develop their uh, better coordination of movements, balancing, and the sense of rhythm. The author of these studies have performed uh, the impact of specific coordination training among women, female combat uh, athletes. We have developed a special coordination training with five programs, uh, aerobic, step aerobic, rhythmic acrobatics with the musical Uh, dance aerobics and also gymnastics um, apparatuses. And we also have developed uh, coordination preparedness tests. Rhombic posture and then uh, acrobatic exercises like uh, skipping rope, uh, combination of gymnastic exercises, uh, juggling of the tennis ball, and uh, mini complex uh, at the Bosa Semisphere. All of them for um, balance, uh, uh, for developing better balance and coordination of movement. So there were two groups. One was training in accordance with this uh, coordination um, training, the other one in accordance with the usual one. Uh, no statistically uh, significant difference at the beginning, but after approximately four and a half months,
And you see that the difference uh, after these four and a half months was statistically significant. Thus, when we say that the coordination training allowed to increase uh, coordination capabilities uh, among young ladies, uh, uh, thus. Expert assessment of initial and uh, final level of coordination uh, would be assessed and the level of coordination in gymnastics and aerobics. In the first uh, case, uh, combat sports trainers were their main assessors and the second fitness and aerobics uh, trainers. In conclusion, in modern conditions, uh, in modern literature, the improvement of coordination ability is not well studied and no criteria for the development uh, of uh, these abilities have been developed. The existing concepts of mastering coordination capabilities of the athletes uh, uh, belong to the low level of sports mastership though uh, this is of paramount importance. To improve coordination, very often sport games uh, are used in practice, but very often there may be technical difficulties or incomplete teams present, and thus such games are excluded. As for testing and experiment, Positive impact of regular sessions, uh, gymnastics and aerobics uh, sessions with music. Um, they have a very uh, high positive impact on the development of coordination capabilities. Based on our opinion, one of the main factors is uh, the factor of musical rhythmization from our point of view, though this area is very little studied yet. As for combat sports uh, athletes, male ones, uh, they also need coordination trainings, but the selection of their training means have to be uh, conducted taking into account uh, the gender, age, and uh, ratio, uh, race. For example, fitness with kickboxing might be used, or other group fitness programs with their combat sports uh, elements. And that's, uh, by the way, what I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. And Marina, thank you. Your questions. Have I earned the chocolate bar? Out of the mic. If the person is going in for sports, will it be possible for him or her to include dancing into the training process? Yes. My definite yes here. We have tried this. This is a fragment of an experiment and the introduction of this, uh, such methods and techniques uh, was uh, um, tested uh, for our Olympic uh, athletes. Separate trainings, one and a half hour and uh, replacement of warming up 15 to 20 minutes intensive coordination training the athletes were all wet well warmed up and no traumas practically it was a warming up session before the uh, actual training Combat athletes cannot be 
the less coordinated. Uh, these are the drawbacks uh, of uh, uh, the whole system of training. We are mastering them for the result. This is a very interesting discussion and I'm ready to deliver a whole lecture on this topic. Have you seen a thesis? Yes, I have, but I have not read it in full. The person from the floor is not using the mic. Sorry, no interpretation is possible. But believe me, you are speaking about coordination capabilities among the combat fighters. Uh, it all depends on the type and technique of sports activity. I've tried to teach their uh, rhythmic gymnastics uh, aerobics. It was it was a disaster, more difficult than uh, with combat uh, athletes. They can't, they can't, uh, because their activity is so different. It's easier with their combat athletes. The trainers listen to us and they are trying to do this. Music gives a lot. It happened in those days. Um, Ramanova uh, defended her thesis back in 2006 and not much progress since that time. It was a real stress for them. Uh, when they didn't perform well, and they wrote um, a complaint that Shiyan uh, uh, made us dance, and that's why we performed uh, not well. Rhythm and tempo are two different things. I have a course at the university on musical uh, education. Uh, it allows the muscles uh, to perform differently. And thanks a lot. And now, Matveev, Dmitry Matveev from St. Petersburg State University will tell us about... Uh, and please, uh, Biladet, be prepared. Highly esteemed uh, chairman, the center of uh, gravity uh, uh, acceleration in the biomechanics of this type of activity is still uh, not uh, very significant in spite of the popularity of the combat sports. And um, one of the parameters based on which we can evaluate uh, uh, the sportsman is uh, the acceleration of the center of gravity. To carry out this study, we have uh, taken a video uh, with the forward tree uh, with a forward treadle um, or a foot sweep uh, by an Olympic champion. We have taken a coordinate um, grid 
uh, and divided the movement into very, very small steps. We also calculated the distance and uh, the phases, uh, the duration of the phases in cyclograms. You see the calculations on the slide. And you see one of the working cyclograms here with the gravi center of gravity of each uh, athlete and also the uh, center of gravity of both uh, athletes together. Next figure shows uh, the movement with the foot sweep. Table one. shows uh, the limits for the change of the projections of the center of gravity of uh, the athletes and the uh, duration of the intervals of the projections. And we see that the interval of the projection of the acceleration is different for the attacking sportsman and the one attacked upon. In the Russian scientific literature, it was shown that static balance depend, depends on uh, uh, not only on the speed, but also on accelerations. The attacking athlete has to strive to maintain his balance while some of the parameters uh, of this athlete have to be constant. In the process of the skill, the interval uh, of the projections of the accelerations uh, again was different in attacking and uh, athlete and the one attacked uh, uh, almost two and a half times uh, higher for the attacking one. No significant uh, difference between the results though, but on the visual, uh when uh, watching the video we may see the difference average acceleration was uh, different uh, all the time for both the attacking and the one attacked uh throughout all the stages of uh, the movement. Thus, we may conclude that uh, we have to compare the accelerations uh, between the attacking and the one attacked. In the process of preparation of the throw, the intervals uh, uh, of the projections of the accelerations are higher in attacking sportsmen. It is, it seems to be uh, worthwhile to define the optimal intervals of the projections of accelerations to the coordinate axis and not their absolute values. Average uh, uh, values of the accelerations of the center of gravity in the process of uh, preparation of the throw and the process of its execution are comparable in both um, athletes. And uh, it is uh, worthwhile to include uh, uh, all this uh, into the preparation of the judice. No questions? And now, please, Bella did. 
from the Lesgoft University, who is going to tell us about the use of NS cycle tests in the pre-competition measure cycle of training boxes. We have uh, continued the cycle mode uh, capabilities uh, this year and also have studied high qualification boxes uh, who are part of the national Russian team. The result shows that the result of the fight depends very much on the status uh, and mood in which uh, the boxes uh, uh, perform their blows. The best results were shown by the attacking mood, so to say, uh, boxes. And uh, we carried out the uh, study in which uh, we took into account uh, the mood status and uh, psycho-emotional status of the athletes. The use of psychoanalytical testing included software that allowed to visually see the results of the test, form the database, expand the range of the studied parameters in pre-competitive period, and form the training plan on the basis of this that would allow to lead uh, to prepare the uh, athletes for the competition best. The NS psychotest, uh, uh, psychodiagnostic complex uh, used, allowed us to uh, use and study such parameters as the re reaction of uh, choice, uh, response to the moving object and the training test. That's the a reaction of choice allows to analyze the dynamics uh, of uh, uh, nervous processes in the condition of competition. This is the uh, response to the moving object allows to detect the level of uh, preparedness of the boxes and the optimal distance for the fight. Uh, taming test allows to continue uh, monitoring the functional uh, status of the athlete. In the result of the tests we conducted uh, of the psychomotor capabilities, we may say that it is possible to improve the results for the counter-attacking uh, athletes. And... Uh, with various numbers of uh, blows, uh, overall there were 251 blows in tapping tests, uh, uh, out of them 238 by the main uh, hand. And the number of uh, false uh, uh, clicks were seven with uh, some of them being uh, quicker, some uh, slower than the expected one. The diagram shows psychomotor profiles and the difference between attacking and counter-attacking uh, uh, modes of fighting. Thus, we may understand that uh, diversification is needed for the trainings based on the psychotests and further follow-up of uh, the junior boxes at the St. Petersburg Championship 
allowed us uh, to make a conclusion that the important factors for sports achievements are the attributes of their attacking mode uh, uh, athletes. And uh, psychomotor testing thus is really necessary to define the psychomotor profile of the athlete, which allows to make uh, the work in the um, pre-competitive mesocycle more effective and uh, bring better results. Your questions, please. What is the difference between taping and tapping tests? No difference. I think it was a typo. Or I made a mistake when speaking. It's the same thing. It's a tapping test. Sorry. If I understand right, tapping test was 250 per minute, 250 blows. I know this test. I know. Per minute. I think it was 30 seconds. Less than one minute, for sure. Around 30 seconds. Thanks. Um, any questions more, please? I think uh, you deserve a chocolate bar. The quickest of all. A memo. A memo. He won't eat it, he will take it to the museum. So we have exceeded our schedule. I want to thank the organizers of the Congress. I initiated a separate session dedicated to martial arts and uh, combat sports. And I think that in this way, this is a way for us to follow to resolve the issues uh, of the scientific follow-up of valid uh, athletes because the program offered uh, by the Ministry of Sports is to make everything unified, one size fits everybody, but this won't work. Uh, combat sports is one category, uh, uh, cyclists uh, another category, uh, and I tried to gather together the like-minded people to be able to discuss all this. Uh, I hope that the first pancake was not a disaster and we'll have uh, more possibilities to discuss such issues in a more professional and constructive uh, way. At least the question on Cre uh, founding the Centers for Scientific Preparation of Athletes in the groups of uh, similar kinds of sports. And I'm lobbying the Combat Sports and Martial Arts Centers. I'm very glad that we had so many different uh, uh, presentations here and representatives. Many things that are not yet done in national teams, but you are already ready to it. And that the higher education institutions are to take part in this and the young scientists have to be integrated. No discussion is ever needed. On the whole, I think we have resolved the first task and we'll be moving forward. Great thanks for your participation. I think we may pass over to the large, uh, to the big hole.